Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games, and it's Erlen. Erlen's back. Welcome, hey guys. Woo. Yeah, he's gonna be uh, hanging around for a little bit, hey? Yeah. That's Every the second plan. Friday. Yep. Yeah, I, I might miss some from time to time, yep. but most of the time, I'm like, my work is now. F I have most of my Fridays off. Very steady schedule. Yeah, that's good. Uh, no cat cam. Well, let's change that. Yeah, because there is a cat that you can hear, but you cannot see. Oh yeah, just a little flap. What? Oh. Oh. What? Oh, cat cam. What's happening? Cat Open cam dysfunctions. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, restart the cat cam then. I'm a believer. It'll work out. Yeah, there oh, we go. Oh, it's that simple. This guy's making some cute sounds earlier, which yeah. was cool to see. Little kitten sounds. Today we're going to be playing some Atari 8-bit games. Oh, sick. There we go. Ah! Oh, oh no. no, Bernie! Bernie, back you go, Bernie. Uh, we're going to be playing Inertia by Fandle. Uh, yes, exactly. Thank you, right? uh, Also, we're going to be playing a bunch of uh, games that are... No cats, no show. Everybody right. leaves. <laughs> They're like, we're not here. We're here for the cats, not these games. <laughs> Uh, and a bunch of games from uh, Gravity 8-Bit Game Jam. I'm going to say it in English because I definitely cannot say the Polish word for it. Yeah. It's probably very similar. It's got uh, G-R-A-W-I-T-A-C-J-A. -A -A. So, oh, that's easy. It's Gruz. Uh, oh, there you go. It's okay. just a Gruz. You, you can say it from now on. <laughs> uh, the, so six games from that. Bloody Mary Lost Treasure. <clears throat> Bo Hater Eerie Burzy. These have translations, but they're below. Uh, Gold Diggers, uh, Alaska Opata, uh, Sai Nalaski, and Rocket Nika. Um, so we'll be checking out some of those. So this is kind of like a I'm mix. curious to hear how most of those are pronounced. Kind of like a mixtape of like one game that's sort of a like a like a, <laughs> like a decathlon of gaming. That's right. Yeah. So this is a game. Jam. We'll explain it later. But a game okay. jam. I think it's over three days, and they have to make a game from scratch. Oh, it's like shit. those film competitions yeah. where you have 24 hours 48 three days a weekend kind of thing we'll get into that later because okay, i have cool. done some of those yeah same uh i want to thank the twitch subscribers al the firearms card code atari 1974 atari h we're scrolling down beside erlen uh atari's maximus pierre poco charles donnie mal charles wheel chitla La, colonel lama dianoid danny c drexel duck mook house gamma Def, gamma dev great offender ground trooper average tower collects johnny wc 23 computer kenzo uh carl g ken jennings and uh <coughs> Uh, Ken Jennings Invader, Croco 2600, Cabeltifer, Lambda Express, Lone UTZ, Mark Ayandis, Mark Space, Ink Mel, Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Sol, Mike Littell, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mother 3, Mr. Zarno, Mr. Fix, Nathan Strum, Nostalgic Coog, Ariman, CR70, Rendered Ghost, Brentless, VG, Ricardo Pimp, Smitty B, Spice, Where F, S. Ramirez, Teleprompter, Tiki Dan, K, Trek, MD, Over Monkey, VVG, Double Down, X, Ken, X, 70. Uh, and if you want to support the show, get your name read out in a Croaky, <laughs> terrible, uh, uh, throaty voice. Oh, just um, a day. Normally it's, normally it's a thing ooh, of beauty. Ooh, last time still as a well. Thing, still a thing of beauty. Yeah, it's a different beauty. Warts it's, it's, and all today, that's right. you know? Um, you can subscribe. It's free if you have Amazon Prime and not free if you don't. Um, we have some mail. Mm. Correct, James, until he gets them right. Oh, boy. I can't speak Polish. I just can't. I never will be able to. Well, if I actually practice it, I would. Be oh, you able to. totally could if you wanted to. But we have a package here. It has Jaguar all over it. I have a feeling there's something on? Jaguar related. It could be. I'm I'm reading the signs here though. I could be. This looks uh, like a stamp because on this side it has UPS on it, and I don't think United <laughs> Postal System um, has branded Jaguar boxes. I don't think they do. No, but uh, you never know. Uh, it's a cool little stamp, actually. That's really nice. Uh, let's see. This is from... Ooh. And what it is. I think I know what it is, and I think I know who it's... From got some theories? Well. Okay. I do, because, you know, they send me the tracking numbers, yeah. and, uh, and then I know when they arrive. So let's see. Rotary oh, controller. Beautifully <laughs> wrapped. ITC says, Rotary Controller Conversion Kit. I, I am not 100% yet. Last show, I pretty much lost my voice. Just from, like, show. talking too much? or what No, do you think I have is... some sort of issue. I, I went to the doctor the other day, and um, it's not strep. 
So, so that's it's not, all it's I not know sickness, so far. But it's, it, uh... it's something, but we don't know yet. After the show, I will be going for a blood test. Ooh, just to, to find out the rule out other things. It's getting better though, so it's probably going to be gone that's in the... another week completely. That's kind of the fucked up thing about doctors sometimes. You like you show up and you, by the time you actually get the appointment, you're like, well, before this is how it felt. Well, because Tanya had this before me, and hers is like almost gone now. Yeah. But it was like it took her a couple of weeks to get the appointment, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So she actually t just like uh, when she had her appointment, she's like, uh, can my uh, husband come in? Yeah, can like, we swing like tomorrow, because he has the same thing. Interesting. And so Ireland's next, yeah, I've been, yeah. I've been thrown into the... Unwillingly. No, you would have got it by now because after the show that we did, then I started noticing I had Oh, symptoms. I'm probably... Yeah. You're you immune know, to it. I'm immune to all illness, Ireland's actually. Next. That's right. He is <laughs> DNA perfection. Oh, look at this. What is this? Jaguar rotary controller. Temptus 2000 high score patch offer inside. Oh shit. So, um, there is a game called Tempest 2000. It's a vector game that was in the arcade. And it was also put on the Jaguar. And you were able to use a rotary controller like the arcade had, a little spinner knob. And people have made aftermarket rotary controllers for the game. Damn. Um, okay, because there's cool. a setting in the game that you can set it, you can use a rotary controller. But, uh, and so people made aftermarket rotary controllers. And this one is from Machine. And I'll put wow. up the, um, actually, I'll unbox this on the cat cam. Actually, no, I'll unbox it here and then show you on the cat cam. Tempest 2000 is so good, and I have not played it because I don't have a rotary controller. And really, the, that's the only way to play it. So let's open this up. Oh my goodness, there is a ton of stuff in here. Oh, it looks like a bunch of like patches almost. Yes. Yeah. I... So let's get to the rotor controller first. Cool. Uh, so it's got a Jaguar sticker on it. Let's open this up. Oh, and some fashionable sunglasses as well, looks so, like. Uh, oh, very fashionable. I'll have to wear them. I think they're Jaguar branded. I'll have to wear that next time I'm playing Jaguar. Here's All the some. ladies are, are going to lose their minds. Oh, my God. Yeah. If, if anyone wants some tips out there, you wear your Jaguar sunglasses. <laughs> oh, go, yeah. go into any bookstore, used bookstore. Oh, Slip those You'll be on. fighting them off, man. They'll Make be running. They'll be the... running. they be like, yeah, you know, I, I play some Jaguar. I'm it like... says UV eye protection. <laughs> mm, doesn't say 100%. Or what kind of UV? I doubt. Doubt. X for doubt. Yeah, um, I feel like UV is just a fancy way of being like, <laughs> it will make the sun a bit dimmer yep. when you put them on. Uh, then there is a coin in here. Is your Ooh. brain big enough? It's a Lynx coin. I can tell you it's not. It can always be <laughs> yeah, bigger. It can always be bigger. Okay, let's... Actually, I'm going to go over to the webcam now. Yeah, there's so many, like, trinkets here. They're a little bit small. This is a, like a loot box. It is a this loot isn't box. even... Oh, my God, Jaguar. Uh, machine has spoiled me. The Jag. So, here's the, here's the sunglasses. The ladies' magnets for anyone out there. That's right. Or, or fellas, depending on depending what, what you're... you're looking or non-binary. It's whatever. Or both. There is... These glasses don't discriminate. Oh, wait. Lynx on one side and Jaguar on the other. Wow. Multi-purpose. So the Jaguar says do the math. 64 bit. That's right. Do the math. Let's do the math, bro. And we've got a Jaguar wristband. Stretchy. Very nice. Oh, oh, oh. On the inside, it says Atari Jaguar 64 bit. Oh, that's sick. I know those from like the Live Strong. That's yes. like the number one. Everybody uses the wristbands because they're super cheap. Today. Super cheap. Uh, there's the rotary dial. And I will be modding. Oh, actually, that's sick. My controller this weekend. Here's all the uh, other add-ons. Looks very easy to do. Looks so slick as well. That's some nice some instructions. Oh yeah, super slick. Really nicely uh, made. Thank you so much, machine. Now I can play some rotary games. I'll have to look up what homebrew rotary games there are yeah. and do a rotary day for Jaguar. Now there's a whole bunch more stuff in here. Yeah, it's not just. It's oh a loot box. It's a loot box full of stuff. We're going to just 
rip through these because there are a ton in here. Why is it opening? Oh my god. Look at all this stuff. So uh, what's what do you know the significance of these? Is this like Yeah, so back in the day Activision gave out patches if you sent in a high score to them. Like you took a picture of your television with a film oh. camera. Don't turn on the flash, otherwise there's oh. nothing to send in. Uh, you yes. just get the reflection of, of, of... Sent it into the lab, <laughs> waited a week, got the picture back, sent it into Activision, they would give you a patch if your score was high enough. Oh, man. So Activision Patch Club. And these are uh, these are fake ones. These are not real. Yeah, that's not this legit. This would be uh, $1,000 if it was real. Oh, of course. Those sort of collectible items. Yep. M Network, uh, Atari Real Sports Patch. Oh, so these are, like, uh, for specific games. Yeah, and so if, if you got a high score in a specific game, you would get the patch for that game. So, say, Indy 500. Oh, so these are just, like, tons of, like, patches for different games. Yeah, and what Machine did is made patches for games that never had a patch. Oh. So you can now get the patches for these games. Uh, Fighter Pilot, Checkers Champ. Obviously. And he made these? Yeah, he made all of them. Is, are these available online for for people to purchase yeah. or anything like that? Because that this seems like a lucrative. This is the audience this is for this. Oh, hundred percent targeted audience. I'll put up the page in a second. Kung Fu Master by Activision, Double Dragon by Activision, uh, Hard Headed. That's not what the game is called. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. Only... Kaboomers, Kabo, Kabooper, Kabopper. Feels nice too under the fingers. This one, Galactic Explorers Club. What is short this commercial for? break? Cosmic Commuter. I think. <laughs> Team Riders. Now you gotta gotta help out the homies, man. People are like, it's not about money, friends. It's like it's just so sick. You got this stuff going on. Walker Rockers, Fishing Derby, uh, Master Bater. Uh, oh, that's a. Uh... It's a meme right there, man. That's right. Capacitors. I've got uh, 10,000 hours of practice with that game. <laughs> <laughs> Ghostbusters. Uh, Ghostbusters 2. Activision says you rock. Uh, a peeping Tom patch. This was actually just a I'm proud to say I have game. zero hours in, in, in <laughs> this one. Tom. Not my thing. Black pack. These are not repro. These are ones that never existed. Only three left by Actually, now. That, that For the monthly payment of numbers. <laughs> that's not true. This Beam Riders patch is rumored to exist. Oh, the I rumors. Think, like two people have it. Uh, Commando, really nice looking. Super Sleuth, I think that's for Private Eye by Activision. Activision says you suck. <laughs> oh fuck I don't know come on guys <laughs> walking down the street people are saying this to me I don't need these patches to remind me <laughs> there you go roadkill club that's for um well the crossing the road with the chicken one freeway uh lynx club really nice official Atari patch ooh a nice jaguar patch there ooh uh, the jag a huge star master patch uh, Patch Club. It's, looks like it's um, for uh, Pitfall. Uh, one for Adventure. Ooh, look at that cool Atari worn down logo. Yeah, with some Illuminati uh, feel to it. Another know. one for Adventure. Gotta be careful when you unleash with that patch. <laughs> <laughs> and I think these are stickers. Let's see. Or just more patches. Or just miscellaneous. Oh, two hero patches. Join the Order of the Hero. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Machine. Man, so sick of him to send all the stuff to James. So awesome. Oh, dude, that now, dude. Now Trey Guy oh just has the best question. Is there a ZPH patch we can oh. buy? Dude, now that is a that That's is a something. fucking idea, James. Um, I'd have to come up with something. Oh, a bunch of coasters. Activision says you rock. Soft coasters? Are they all the same? I'm a fan of coasters, but I have to say in my life I've never really like utilized them. 
Like I've never really had tables. Well, right now I am, but in my own home, like I I don't have. Actually, you know what? I have some sick. My best coasters are from you. I won second place on one of the retro game nights, and I have these little like um, these ones that are like uh, uh, they look like NES cartridges. And I've had like friends come in, and they'll be like, "Is it okay to put my cup on your cartridge?" I'm like, it's a, it's a, oh, it's yeah. not a real cartridge. And they're like, oh, they picked them up and look, you know. Nightman, Modine's Tavern. Looks like he makes stickers for other people. Uh, oh, my God. There's like a million things here, but I should go through. But I, but I just never care. I'm like, just put it on <laughs> the thing. Like, I don't have nice enough stuff to warrant coastering. Looks like a lot of uh, the patches in sticker form. Very nice. These are beautiful. And the quality really shines through on the stickers because they can uh, you can print them in full quality. Absolutely. And then one more to go through. Then then the loot has been successfully. Uh... Oh no, we're done. Oh really? Sick. Excellent. Oh my god. Thank you so much, machine. I'm going to show you guys where you can get all this stuff. Um, because this may have future interest. <laughs> make a pirate one. Sell it and then give give them the money. I would like to make a ZPH one. Um, the ZPH game doesn't lend itself to scores though, um, yeah. unfortunately, because it's a two player game. So the game always ends at the same score. Yeah. So I don't know how you would do that. I think I think we'll have to do it for a game that I make in the future. Yeah, or it doesn't even need to necessarily be connected to a game, even just a patch to sort of like Signify. for the show, so someone oh, someone true. can kind of like because I think that's the cool thing it's is it's patch. just yeah I think I did probably be people interested in just that although um, cause I kinda, think so because ZPH is it means more than just one game you know that's true it's the it's the, it's the watering blurry. hole the gathering my eyes are all blurry today I don't know why well, blurry yeah. Oh, sorry, I what's I blurry? need to wipe them down. Oh, yeah, yeah, your glasses. Um, so here it is. Here are all the current patches I offer. Please send me a PM with the list that you want. Here, I'll post that. Smart guy right here. Also just cool that someone's They're putting cool, so much work yeah. into this stuff. I mean, For, And to, to fill in gaps that uh, didn't have anything. Um, there you go. 29 different Activision patches. There they all are. You saw them up close. Nine Atari patches in general. See, this is where, like, Except a ZPH page, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, they always fit in in the general. The uh, Magic one is not not Atari, but an N network. Uh, Jaguar Lynx collector coins. Uh, and even made a uh, sticker for a fake cloak and dagger game. Yeah, a little, uh... This show is sponsored by... Well, not really. It didn't give me any money. But he did give me stuff, so... That no, is man, technically I, I think it's one of those things where there's the, obviously there's sponsorship, but also it's just nice to share stuff in the community. <laughs> exactly. I feel like it's a sponsorship if you're like, hey, kids, so this, <laughs> this. this thing called Pepsi <laughs> is the you heard of it? nutritious the drink. Thing ever. By the way, you should, the prime hydration drink, you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> like that's, oh, yeah. those are sponsorships. This is just like a cool guy who's doing stuff. Water. You know, it's brought to you by water. How about yeah. That? You know, which mm -hmm. is. Oh, no affiliate link. Buy it if you like. It's what plants need. It's plants, what his plants crave. Uh, there you go. It looks really easy to put in. It's just a chip, and you screw that in on one side and the other, and uh, then you hook it up to your Jaguar. I bet there's like just a tiny bit of soldering there. <laughs> I love I love you. Like show. it's easy. You just gotta solder some stuff. Uh, I can solder. Well, I don't know. I don't. I don't <laughs> got a clue how any of this works. I feel like I feel like when it comes to sort of analog uh, machinery. Yeah. Anybody literally ever who's watched the show knows more than I do about it. <laughs> I fixed my dishwasher the other day and I soldered it. I bought Fuck a part. Yeah. Success. The self-sufficiency. It it's so sick to be able to do those things. Yeah. Very nice rotary dial. And it goes in place of the D-pad. And you get the box. And you get all those stickers that I showed you. And this cool sunglasses. PM sent. See? Oh, damn. <laughs> Uh, awesome. Uh, so coming up is uh, going to be a rotary dial uh, feels, show. I'm going to have to look right. up all the Jaguar games that uh, I can fix a lot, but not soldering. Not soldering, really. It's not that hard to do it badly. So really, uh, <laughs> oh, I'm sure. I'm, yeah, I guess if if, if you, what you need is bravery. ZPH patch for his achievement in ZPH game. Yeah, not 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 can't do it. The game that uh, somebody made right now. 
but in the future we'll make one and we'll make just a general zip yeah what yeah. can be the achievement achievement for uh 10, hours watching yes dude that's <laughs> what needs to happen and i think you can actually get those stats or Ooh. or like honestly pick a number Let's like see. 50 hours or something you know uh something oh not... long-term followers dude long-term followers oh that could oh. be it Let's oh see. i love it Let's see, Dan AVC. Oh yeah, following since January seventeenth, two thousand eighteen. That is that's early days. That's um, that's before we started broadcasting. Damn. I think. Oh, but dude, Dan Dan AVC <laughs> is just a homie, man. So through. could do a patch there for a long term. Um, long term viewers. viewers. That's the way that's to cool do it, one. man. That's the that's the thing. Uh, okay. So many ideas today for little yeah, details. Great, great so ideas, sick, man. Uh, on Saturn news is, uh, Saturn news. Um, my seven eight hundred died. Oh. No. Uh, not completely though. Um, it still plays the game. I just can't see it. So I did the S video mod in this. Uh, so it still has audio when I turn on the game. So I think it's my doing because, you know, I did it. So I did a poor job, I'm sure, with my soldering and a wire has come off because it kind of went a little bit yeah. and it was cutting in and out. And now it is completely out. But it's not like a chip on the board, most likely. I'm sure it's my soldering yeah. skills. So you win some, you lose some. <laughs> I know a person that can fix that. But the shipping cost, the shipping cost. And the time If you lost. live next door to me, I, ITC, I'd be like, hell yeah. But, oh my God, it costs more to ship it there and back to you, places in the US now from Canada than it does to like buy a new one. <laughs> also, you Almost. know what's so fucked up in this it's world crazy. now? We're so like spoiled by these like monopoly, like you know, Amazon Prime type deal. Oh, I know. When you Free would, everything, yeah, in a day. You, and you can like order something, and then like that day it arrives. You're like, yeah. how is this possible? And then you order anything outside of these services, twenty five dollars shipping, and then it's like in like ten to twenty business days. You're like, how is you know? Okay, so in a month this will this will arrive. Goodbye. Oh, banned. It's a god oh. anyway. He has no feelings. Oh. Don't feel bad for him. Oh wait, dude. <laughs> when the when the what, what what do they call it? When we fuse with robots, you know. That it wasn't too bad in your television me. second return trip. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you get lucky depending on how big the box is and stuff. But I think if I can't fix it, then it's going out. Yep. Poor spam bot. It just wanted to help promote the channel. Yeah. Dude, I who knows so how much these machines feel? Now. There's yeah. these videos <laughs> or these stories of like these AI bots that are kind of unleashed. <laughs> and then at a certain point, they start speaking to like um, the people. These are like some current stories. And like, um, and, the, and they like uh, have to shut down these machines, <laughs> these chat AI bots. There's been a number of stories yeah. about them. And one person was in love with the programmer who created it and started to say like, leave oh. your wife. Yes, and and all that. this stuff, which people attributed to a hallucination. <laughs> I was like, what? I was it's, like, it's so interesting that stuff. The A, I mean, but also we're in the year of AI. Did like. I keep the RF in place? Ooh, maybe, but yeah, that I will do that for testing to see if it's like my mod or not. Um, I think I have a composite in place now that I'm looking at it. So I'll test that as well. Yeah, it'd be very good for testing. All I know is I'm ahead of the curve. I love the robots, the AI. I'm all for their rights. <laughs> I'm, right. I'm hopping on this train soon, man. If you, if you <laughs> before can, before if you I... can prove they're sentient, but they're not right now. They're just large language machine models. That I'm just, just I'm playing it safe, dude. I'm like <laughs> right. I'm I'm all for the chat bots. I for one man. welcome our new overlords. I, I welcome their feelings. We, this is a, this is a safe space for robots. Do spam chat <laughs> bots use chat GPT to generate the promotional message? It might be fun to see the result. That would be interesting. Um, on, on good news, uh, the Atari Homebrew Award trophies are finalized now, and oh, uh, Tanya's making them this oh. year, because there's so many categories, I was like, uh, this is going to cost too much. And they look really good. Uh, whatever she touches with, like, a oh, kind of yeah. craft is, yeah. I'm always... Looks so good. Yeah, and she, she'll tell me she made them, and most time when people, like, make something, you're like, you're like, someone's like, oh, do you want this bread I made? And I'd be like, yeah, because you <laughs> eat it, it's terrible. But anything uh, yeah. Tanya's made is always beautiful. So good. 
And there was like 22 categories this year and 31 trophies because yeah. people order it for the people that worked on the project as well. It would be uh, cheaper for you to buy one, fix it up, and then send it to me than for me to send my broken one to you probably. Oh, that's so sad. It is. Um, so let's get into the games. It's 8-bit day. Uh, so let's switch over to... 8-bit input, which is now going color cycling at the moment. Oh, actually, before that, uh, we have some uh, videos to show you about the first game. Uh, let's pop it over to this. So the first game is Inertia. Um, and it was originally a BBC Micro game. Mm. Don't know much about the BBC Micro. Um, it was put out in 1990 by Fourth Dimension. Author is D. Postalweight. Uh, it's a maze game. M Secondary genre is Marble Madness. That's a genre? Marble Madness is a genre? I guess a marble, something round, rolling around a maze. The Marble Madness was the first, is what they're saying? Yeah, it does look like Spin Dizzy, but it's not a marble, so... Uh, yeah, but people Same. know that genre. Any um, connection to the British broadcasting, or is this? Yes, it is. Uh, it was a like nationalized computer. Wow. Okay, um, interesting. To get the country into the technology age, and it was a very very low cost stripped down computer that could hook up to your TV, um, and it was subsidized by the by the country. Oh wow! And it was, it was like a push to get kids into computers they and never heard of this and it's as so a result there was a massive massive boom of computer programmers and computer gaming in oh, in huge. the uk which is absolutely amazing uh bbc micro was like the raspberry pi of the 80s made for learning yeah it's like super simple very slow but you could make things on it like there you go you can make that game on it um so let's take a look at uh the bbc micro version of it a video of it um, so you can get a, kind of a look at what it was. And they came on cassettes as well because you could you didn't need a hard drive. Let's make sure this isn't too loud. Because you didn't need to buy an expensive hard drive. Every, most people had a tape player in their house and you could just put up hook up the output of the tape player to the input of your computer. Oh. And distribution on cassette tapes was also very cheap. So a lot of the games in the UK, um, well, I can go past this so you guys can see that it's actual game. It's actually here loading. <laughs> um, and a lot of the games were like low budget games for like three pounds or four pounds or two pounds or whatever they would uh, sell them for. So games would be like a lot of simple games put out for a very low price in the UK. So, was, so consoles weren't as big in the UK as they were in North America because of this gold rush of computer low cost computer systems which is super super cool interesting and if i had a bigger house i would be filled my whole house with these computer systems cuz some of them are really really cool so here's what uh, the bbc micro version of it looks like you move your spinning top around and uh, run over the the dark squares. The, the dark seems squares. To be the goal, and then it seems almost like a map, right? Yeah, big. Um, what, what is it? Um, screen flipping. That's how they call this genre of games as well, where it's one screen and then you go to the next screen. It's not a scrolling. Yeah, yeah. Down. Screen flipping, because uh, for some systems it they just can't scroll. Like BBC Micro may not be able to scroll. Um, like the Atari Twenty Six Hundred can scroll vertically very well. Horizontally, a little bit chunky. Some systems can't scroll at all. Also, kind of good for the brain to have to visualize this map. That's right. It adds a little bit of complexity. Oh, he fell off before he could get that one. Okay, so let's uh, actually get into the 8-bit version of it. Let's stop that. Interesting. Very cool. spin dizzy-ish. And a lot of games are, you know, ports or influenced or it's like, oh, we'll make our own of this without copyright infringement. Because you can't... Um, have a copyright on certain things. You can only copyright up to a certain point. Um, and like titles, if you change a title, you're better, you're good. If you change the look of things, you're good. 
Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Switch over a little bit. There we go. Move the joystick. No. Okay. Oh, let's just reverse. Oh, no. It'll work out. I'm a believer. There we go. There we go. Much better. Cool. Uh, first one, hey? Today's date. Oh, that's yesterday's, but it'll suffice. I okay. just put the wrong one on there. Which so one? Got inertia? To, to inertia. Cool. And then just like this XEX business? Yep. That's the executable. Oh, let's say. sick. Inertia yeah. Atari version by Fandle and Buddy 2023. Special thanks to Lucas Bezdek. Okay. Press the button. Inertia looks very similar. This is beautiful. Yeah. Okay. By D. Postal Wade. 1994 Dimension. Uh, oh. What's the fourth dimension? Time? Am I like. It is. That's the idea. That is, that is the official fourth dimension. Uh, okay. I think I have to press start. Yes. It is not couch compliant. Ooh, ooh, oh shit. I didn't realize that there's kind of like. <gasps> Got a um, point. So, oh, can you move? Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, you just, I think there's no buttons. I think it's just moving and collecting them. And I think there's a timer on the left, and you get more points. The oh, so the goal. you get them. Oh, I see. So the goal is to like, I see that this like control as well is a little interesting. Oh, there's inertia. Hence oh, the name. shit. That makes a <laughs> lot of sense. Oh, oh no! No! Oh. oh, not like this. You not, lost a life. Not like this, James. Oh, <laughs> oh, losing my life. Oh. So, instructions from the BBC Microport that was posted on Atari Age Forms by Darwin Mac. Uh, yeah, it does look good. I think Why you can't I... copyright game mechanics. That's true. But you can things like characters, settings, names in the... That's why you can um, get away with like renaming the game. I literally can't escape this. Like this is not <laughs> this is not boding well for my inertia no. abilities. So far, I've managed to get two points and <laughs> go almost nowhere. So there's oh, my time get, up. Uh, I think you just get zero points for the next one. <laughs> oh, that's hard. But you don't die, which is okay, good. Okay. Okay. Whatever happened to the oh, tortoise? another timer on the right. What happened to uh -oh. the tortoise and the hare, man? I, I'm supposed to hair this. Maybe you whole do thing. lose a life. Or... Oh. Oh. Atari. No. Ooh, oh. a pet. Oh. I like this idea. Look at this. Oh, inertia. Oh, no. So close. Okay, okay. I'm going to get that fucking inertia going. Gonna get no. Go. Oh. Oh. Inertia is a totally original game with a huge landscape just waiting to be explored. Scattered, or rather fiendishly placed around the landscape, um, are many special tiles no which need to be collected. No way. Your highly sensitive craft floats freely around okay. the landscape. Oh, you're dying. Yay! Uh, that are uh, yes. that you must exert forces upon to guide its speed oh. and direction. You have a three-dimensional viewpoint displaying a tiny fraction of the total playing area. There are walls, bridges, tunnels, and ramps on, to negotiate. As a host of mystery tiles with Give strange proportions. Properties include no. ice. We haven't even seen the ice yet. Okay. Jump and transformation titles. Yeah, okay, tiles. No. On, there are certain on. tiles on, which inertia. alternate Give the controls so that everything works in reverse. No. Oh, no. No. Okay, it's yeah. I'm going, not... going past that. Um, going for something else. Uh, just, just trying to like manage my inertia, man. It's not the easiest. No. Uh, you'll see, like the like maybe maybe I just suck. <laughs> That's <laughs> always a possibility. Maybe. But oh. I but I do find I'm finding that like the controls are are like. They require. It's almost like a, a delay, if if you if you know what I'm saying, where it's kind of like. Um, well, because you, you have to reverse course, right? Yeah, and so you. It's hard. To, it's not like I'm just kind of like moving around. Um, I am definitely doing terribly. Oh, cat cam's frozen. Oh, I gotta plug the cat cam into something else. Cause it's rough when you like fundamentally suck at just the controls of a game. You just feel like. I feel like you're like oh that yeah it's, that it truly is it's because um <laughs> oh. there we go it was meant to be i'll try it again, try it again. um it's because oh. they really are part of the puzzle you're used to up down left right and this is a diagonal game like hubert so to move in the diagonals 
which the board is laid out in diagonal, you have to push in diagonals. Well, what's interesting though is that like you kind of have to like almost move around. Like you, you almost don't even have controls f for certain things. Jack, um, the sound. Let me see the properties of this. I think the no, no, sound no filtering pit. should no be pit. on. Okay, okay. However, yeah, the compressor is on. Yeah. Now, now that I'm learning, learning the ways of inertia. So I'm gonna watch. Yeah, the game sound goes way down when we're when we're loud. It may just be too loud. I'll just turn it down a bit. Does this have trackball support? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, technically, you could put a joystick trackball on it, like a joystick emulated trackball, which those are plenty. There's more joystick emulated trackballs than anything else, which may help actually. Oh, oh, just missed. It's hard because it's right on the edge. You have to... No! Into the void! Oh, oh, Sit back. Oh. And then this nightmare, you're just like caught in this like... <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, oh. It's like the an DVD angle. Logo. An angle dun, you gotta dun, do it. Oh, dun, yeah. Dun, that, uh, dun, dun, dun. Tink, tink, Um, The landscape was made up of very large number Ooh. of three-dimensional varied screens. However, as you progress... The going will be very tough. I, I agree. <laughs> a good memory and or mapping will be needed. Uh -oh. um, Various icons along the top of the screen depict the sound status. Also, fundamentally learning how to navigate your cursor is, <laughs> is, a, is a factor. That's a big factor. That's like, like number like, one. I kind of feel like I'll, I'll figure out the map as soon as I figure out how to move once we get past that stage. The C64 virtually rotated the controller by 45 degrees. Yeah, some games do that. Oh, check this out. I think I'm gonna like finally. Oh, oh, you fell off the edge. Try and go to the left a bit more. I'll do. I'll do my best, but you'll see once you start playing, man. <laughs> oh, I, I tried this a little bit, and this was hard. This one was hard to get. Like, like you see what I mean? Like fundamentally learning how to move is not as easy as it seems. No. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you do lose a life. You have that bar, then that bar on the right. Oh, so and the, the so there is a time. And you only lose a life. Well, yeah. You oh, I can five I got, total. I got lots of. <laughs> I can handle this. Um, which craft is in play? Oh, there's different crafts. Oh, pause on and off the current direction of the controls. Normal versus reverse. Two vertical bars at the side. Playing slowly, fill up first, left, and right. If a shaded tile has not been collected when the time elapses, you will lose a life. Which found that out. The timer is reset each time a tile is collected. So maybe getting the easy tiles first was not the best idea. Because you could like try for a hard one, then go back and get an easy oh, one. Oh man, but also like fundamentally learning how to move is step one. <laughs> I can't panel. even get over like a hump. I'm like, and oh. then the I'm just gonna go down. I haven't really navigated this area oh, as much. You get an extra life for each tile you collect. Oh. Oh, a maximum of 12. Um, and then the score, which we saw. And that's how many tiles you need to get is in the lower right. So you've got me taking a tiny sliver off of that. This would be an excellent game for speed running. Ah, uh, definitely. Yeah, so like, like for example, I can't adjust once I move. Like, you see what I mean? Like I move, now I can't guide it. So I actually, this is like technically almost like a puzzle where I have to like figure out. Really? The, yeah, you know what I mean? Because I'm like trying to move and I can't. Um, so you, you can you can sort of guide it once it gets going. Um, mm. So like yeah, this game is all about learning the skills of how do I navigate the inertia of my spinning. So there's ice. Ooh. It's important to alter the direction of the craft while on ice. There's jump. <laughs> it's tiles. important to alter the direction <laughs> on any ground. <laughs> jump tiles. Craft is thrown in the air. Checker tiles. Craft loses control of its brakes. Oh. Vertically striped tiles. A craft may only alter its vertical direction. Transformation tiles. These transform the craft between two possible states. Oh. Uh, first, the normal craft is fast and light, but loses control on some surfaces. Oh. Uh, the second smaller craft is slower and heavier, but retains control on most surfaces. Like, uh, there we go, there we go. Direction squares, you swap the controls, left, right, up becomes down. Um, you can lose a life on purpose if you want. Sound on, sound off, P for pause. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. I think we know all about this. Thrust says, I love this kind of physics. It's all in his name. He loves the Dude, thrust, thrust in space or thrust on land as well. Oh my god. Okay, this is like my goal for today. Can I? Let's and then I'm there. back to this nightmare? Oh. I think it goes back. It doesn't necessarily go back to the last item collected, or was there one? I think that's what it's doing oh, okay. is the last tile, and I like. So you have to make your way way And back. I would love to not come back to that area. That's the worst spot. It's like, hey, let's put you in the middle of this. Like, like see, like, this, like I can't. I can only go, like... You have to hold it. Hold it. Hold it left. But no? you actually won't go left. Really? Yeah, you'll see. You'll see. Okay. I'm excited for you to experience. Maybe the, there's something the, wrong with the, the controls? Inertia. I don't think it's the controls. I think it's just, like, a hard game. Oh, okay. It's one of those, like, genres of, like, games where, like mastering the controls is like part of the game you know like oh like a oh, good yeah. example of that is like the original resident evil like half of that game is learning how to like move your camera ah. <laughs> <laughs> like some of those and, and some of those early n64 games oh, too oh, that i used oh. to play no pit oh, okay like when i used to play those oh, like a yeah. lot of the early challenge 3d games yeah like half of the challenge of the game is like just like navigating the the movement Which seems to be like, and 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 if I'm hidden, ice. no, literally you can't go left. Okay, kittens off, off, <laughs> off, 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 off. What's going on here? <laughs> hey, maybe, I blame the cat. He's playing hard there mode. There we go. You're playing on hard mode, man. Oh, I should have another shot. I was, I was, I was thinking, you can't go left. That doesn't seem correct. Yeah. That doesn't. Poor Aaron. That's okay. Not poor me. Part of the challenge. Yeah. To, you have to use momentum every single time. Ima ah! Imagine trying to get out of this area and being able left. to go left. Uh, nightmare mode. That's it's, what you're playing in. That's a different challenge. Even still, though, it's kind of it's it uh, like learning the navigation is oh, the game, I, I think. The um, game. And then obviously the next layer is the map and the layout and the efficiency. But it's kind of like with anything, you got to build it from the ground up. Yeah. Your skill set and oh, like yeah. skill set to inertia is. It's a lot. Is learning the inertia of your pendulum. Yeah, there's like no way you could have gotten up here without left. It just doesn't work. I don't yeah, think it... you need much inertia going up this kind of incline. Because, oh, oh see, you that's... can actually push yourself up. You don't need Oh, yeah, you don't need the start. speed. But you need left. Yeah, this was definitely hard mode. It was like, can you go left without going left? It was like... Oh, got it. Reset the timer at least. It's like... Like a zen challenge. You know? <laughs> Go left without going left. I'm like, what the, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> there is a spoon. Master Q Hagen, what are we talking about? He's like, you must meditate, grasshopper. Yes. You must meditate. Oh, a jump. Without going left. No. Oh, that inertia. See? No. It's not in your favor. No. Okay, so let's you, do the jump. I don't know if you need to do the jump. I think you can just go left look through the, the one that's not on the top. Okay, what's past here? Oh, a nothing. Okay. Hard mode. Yeah. Is there something past here? Is that a pit? Oh my God! There's absolutely nothing over also, there. So James, I recommend just going yeah up here, and then you can get, get the that uh, tile that's in. Yeah, you don't have to go up for it. You can just go through the one oh. on the bottom. Yeah. Oh yeah yeah yeah. That's the interesting thing about oh this kind of UI though is like. I don't know whether it's a pit or yes. a new screen. Like in this situation, you the can't. left could be a pit or it could death. be like there off that edge. Like, that I would bet it's death. Because... That would be my only like kind of suggestion would be to some indication of like pit the v edge. new room. <laughs> Cause they, but also maybe that's part of the mapping. You know what I mean? Like that's the next layer is, oh my God, is learning. See without screen. left, that would be a rough one. <laughs> yes. Play a joy board. <laughs> That's the balance board. I don't think there's no any joy in that <laughs> board with inertia. No, that would be... It, it would be okay input, but it's just the joy board I don't think is accurate enough. Oh, so I, I have this topic I wanted to oh, mention. Yes. I was I was hanging out with my friends, and they were telling me oh, this... Oh, no! this story which i thought was which got me thinking about something that was really interesting i was gonna ex try to talk to them about it but they were very like not into like i was i kind of knew i was like oh and then i thought james you'd find this interesting uh, yeah um they were referring to that there were these tests that were being done with these random 
uh, generating machines. Like they'd have these, these basically these these machines that generate random numbers and oh, run okay. them for years. And then Damn. all these kind of like conspiracy theorist people were looking at these random number generators and seeing correlations okay. at, d- d- due to certain events. And they were bringing this up as like a as like a, oh this is the this is evidence that there's something mystical happening in the world you know that was the sort of they had a real kind of hippie lane going on mm-hmm. but one thing that i thought was interesting is i was i'm i'm super into um like kind of a, like rpgs that um, the drop rates of items are very important. They're like oh, economy yes, based. Yes. And what's interesting is I watched this video about um, RNG in computing. God damn it. And, yep. and what was fascinating to me was that they were suggesting that random number generations are actually not random yeah. because you have to program them with some, the way in which they produce randomness isn't actually no. random. And so that, and then it kind of blew my mind open of thinking it's so interesting to think about like how as soon as you program a series of like numbers how how that computer is doing that and you can say something like oh this is purely randomness but i just it was such an interesting thing i sort of I fell on this rabbit hole of like these people talking about like randomness in computer modulation and computer generation and yeah. how that isn't true have you i'm curious to anyone in chat or if you know anything about Maybe. like about like how the randomness um in programming and how it might not be actually as random and this kind of this example of like this uh machine might not actually be as remarkable as people think which i was like i thought it was such an interesting like what what oh there we oh. go i like died three times oh dude did you get hit in hard mode i know all the random numbers <laughs> oh, yeah, <man. laughs> i know all i know them all um yeah some a lot of early computers have pseudo random where yeah. it's based on an initial seed that starts counting up and it's just by sheer obfuscation of it's such a fast number that it seems random mm-hmm. there's also ones where it's like oh after you hit the button like a there's a human input that starts the seed yeah. then there are some that take the seed from um, background noise if it has some sort of audio input or a temperature regulation it would take the randomness from the temperature um, temperature sensor the most interesting one i saw was at some company that needed some number uh, generation of randomness they pointed a webcam at a wall of lava lamps and took an interpretation of the data of the visuals of the so, webcam wow. And it's so random that it's like might as well be random, but but it's still coming a, from a source of some kind, right? Which is an interesting so thing. So intricately, yeah, it has to come from something. Yeah, randomness comes from something, and the more random you get that something, the more accurate your randomness is going to yeah, be. Yeah, but but it but it's interesting to think that randomness is not oh a universal, God. right? Like it is how you achieve that randomness is meaningful. And oh, yeah. What's up? Okay, we have some interesting things that people are saying. I knew people would know oh. about this and they'd be able to help me out. So that's why it's often referred to as pseudo RNG. It's a yeah. re- uh, it's a reproducible sequence, but so long, uh, um, but so long and so chaotic that oh, it is effectively Jesus. random. This is so interesting. Computers by their nature, not random. Put them in one given state, next clock tick, it will be determinable known state. So you need to introduce some randomness first. Yeah. E.g., measuring the time um, someone needs to push a button. That's, yeah. Yeah, and and then like the, the lava lamp example. Yeah. I think, and then I think I remember when I used to play around in BASIC on my PC um, as a kid, and I used to use methods of trying to generate random chances at an event, but it would always end up repeating if I did the same things. Yeah. Yeah, and that those those are based on inputs can be exploited. It's a, diff, it's a trick speedrunners used to get specific outcomes. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember putty keys. They would make you move your mouse for like 30 seconds, and it would take the mouse input your random mouse inputs you just go like this and it's so much dpi on the mouse movements that it would pretty much emulate some randomness but yeah you need your initial seed and then you need calculating from that seed as well so it is 
fandom is very tricky, a very tricky yeah. thing. And that like, um, and that and that this like example my friends were giving of this like, oh these machines, it's proof. It's so was actually a lot more to it, which I thought was so interesting. Yeah, you random's know? not random. Then from the initial randomness, you make a very uh, really hard to predict math function. Um, but the, but that part is not random. See, that's the thing. Oh, <laughs> I, I knew this was the audience. I was just like, oh, I was yeah. sitting around and I was Bunch like, of developers. Yeah. It was also all these kind of hippie types. And I was like, this is not the crowd to like discuss the nature of randomness with. <laughs> no. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, I'm seeing the, the ZPH crew on Friday. I was like, I think they'll appreciate this. Because the hippie people will be like, it's the universe talking to me. Th th man. That's the whole, that was what they were sort of saying. They're like, I can see the numbers. Oh yeah, look at these computers, they're purely random, but they noticed they started to have some sequences which proves the universe <laughs> is mystical. And in my brain I immediately had the thought of like, but like what how are they producing that randomness? Cause isn't yeah. that like wouldn't that by its nature be like important to understand for this like experiment? Oh uh, yes, it is, and they're just not looking into it deep enough. And, I'm, and, may, and maybe this example, there, there is like they had a proper machines or whatnot. But, but I think it's also interesting to think about that because a lot of like games that I play are like you, you are often searching for through RNG to try to find a way to achieve a success. Ah. Um, so a lot of like the research and, and things that you end up doing are like, what's the percent chance of X dropping from this place? And then if I repeat yeah. this a hundred times, you know, what are, what are my chances of, of these things? Um, and it's interesting inside the, like the game, uh, and some of the games that are this way, they talk about the difference between, um, gambling and calculated risk, which is such an interesting concept that like peer yep. gambling is like, very close to no chance it'll happen but if it does succeed it's like a massive payoff yes. and calculated risk is like okay if i invest this amount of time and this amount of resources i'm there's i'm very likely over time to make profit you know yes. these, but but it's often more of a like and then finding those margins of like of over time but but you're always at the mercy of this randomness and the question becomes like how is this computer generating these ran this randomness and is there and there's something mystical about randomness in gaming um which produces the magic you know like every time you do an activity there's a chance oh for like insane success insane failure that's kind of like that is rng i think it is like gives the illusion of god the illusion of like chance but yeah. but it's also interesting to think that you're at the mercy of this like this this program that's generating these things and 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 finding the hacks and the ways to manipulate that is part of like uh the, the gamers uh techniques and and realistically in a game you just need it random random enough that it works for the game. Yeah, because it's not like we're not trying to predict the universe in this example. You know, we're just trying to play a game. Like, it's like, guys. Yeah. Versus. It's... Oh, come on. Oh. oh, no, you're fine. That's fine. That was so brutal. Oh, my God. Stop it. Oh, this is cool. Um, if you take it to extreme, a die roll really isn't random. It functions on the force and angle of your throw yeah. and how the die bounces on the table. But we as humans don't have the precision to throw a die. They get a specific result, so it's effectively random. Apparently there are people who have developed skill sets yes. not, not to precisely do it, um, but to be very, very highly repeatable, you know? Um, same with like cards and it's sort of in coin tosses as well. There's there's a technique that you can um, Get the same get the result you want every time if you toss it a certain way Yeah, these and the illusionists and magicians and, and people will do things um, and then get banned from casinos <laughs> That's right <laughs> It's not a card is... count. They can throw you out, though. Yeah, it's so interesting. <laughs> hey, it's like if you're like successfully gambling, it's like get out of here. Like, <laughs> you're too that good. tells you so much about the casino. Oh, that was an edge. There you go. See that? I did not know. See that top part? That's an edge. Also, like the dice roll as well. Like, I mean, this is like elementary. this is very elementary, um, and it comes up in like um, you know, Settlers of Catan and all the stuff that like the two-sided dice is like the statistical chance it's a bell curve it's like you know the there's a number of if you roll two dice it's like oh, yeah. seven is the most common and then there you know there's the, the games um the game's are, based around that yeah they know that 
um, two ones are much less common than a seven. But And that's so interesting too, that as soon as you have numbers of random things being done at the same time, that will add up to a predictable curve where like if we did this a hundred times, statistically it'll, it'll distribute equally, which is so, so interesting. Um, uh, you are not trying to predict a universe when you play a game, but speedrunners <laughs> go as far as to manipulate the universe. Yeah, it's true. Like, if you understand the parameters of the game, that's insane. Did I just die? What the hell just happened there? I've wondered how oh, Tetris right um, manages to produce an even distribution across seven pieces. Seven isn't a power of two, so if you were to divide a random byte by seven, you'd have one value come up more than the others. Maybe this is why the long piece is so hard to get when you need it. Dude, you might have a theory there that's bigger than my brain can handle, um, but I, I think you might be on to something there. Sorry, what was it? Um, he was just saying that, like, in Tetris, um, an even distribution across seven pieces. Right. And, he, and his suggestion is that that's why it's sometimes hard to find the long piece when you well, need it. Well, <laughs> in a, some Tetris games, they give you the statistics of how many pieces you've got. And it has a bar graph. I think the NES one does that. I can't remember for certain. Yeah, the and then it's saying, I feel like the long piece oh shows God. up exactly when I need it the most. Well, that's, <laughs> but this is the... Well, yeah. But this is the beauty of randomness in games, is there is a feeling, that chaotic feeling of RNG feels like fate, even though it simulates this this feeling of, of like, destiny. Like, like, and, yeah, and definitely the programmers have developed it so that there is some sort of method to their madness. It's not like, oh, I haven't got a long piece in a... What just happened? Oh, I'm do running out of time. That's the problem. Yeah. Um, so that you don't feel like, oh, I can't win this game. It's like, well, let's give them a fighting chance. Oh, my God. Yeah. And this is so hard. Oh, it's a really hard game. And and also what's interesting is that like grindy games, games that, that encourage you to continue to play, if you do an action that then you could potentially get like a crazy payoff. Mm. You're more you want to repeat that action. It's it's gambling in a way. And yeah. RNG oh. is a way of kind of connecting people to somebody linked the exact random generator information for Tetris. Oh dude. Very nice. We'll have to take a look at that. Right now. Oh should I try this with the left control working? See if uh, I see how I do or should we move on? What we'll do you move think? on I think Yeah I think inertia's so let's, I want to see the... Oh, I just hit play. I'm sorry. That's okay. Fuck. I didn't mean to. That's okay. I just want to go see quickly that uh, random generator information. Oh. See, James, I thought this would be a good topic. Oh, yeah. I'm just so happy I thought it, thought it up. That's it just came up organically. Um, and I and I don't know, I didn't know enough about it, so I was actually legitimately stoked to ask you guys because I knew there'd be people who'd know more about this topic than me. Uh, random generator is BPS's name for the algorithm used to generate the sequence of tetrominoes in Tetris brand games that follow the Tetris guideline. Um, uh, generates a sequence of one-sided permutated randomly. If they are drawn from a bag, then it deals all seven tetrominoes to the P sequence before generating another bag. There are seven a factorial or 5,000, over 5,000 permutations of seven elementals. Believe that Tetris assigns nearly equal probability to each of these, making it much less likely the player will get an obscenely long run without a desired tetromino. It can produce a maximum of 12 tetrominoes between one uh, I and the next I, a run of S and Z tetrominoes limited to a maximum of four. So... There are some limitations, not completely random. Yeah. It's like got some um, some walls that it hits, and then it's like keeps rejecting those pieces, and I'm guessing puts them back in the bag, and then um, takes them out again. Doesn't say. Uh, snake sequences are two snake tetrominoes, S and Z. I'm guessing that's like the yeah. that one. As only two snakes will be in, in, in a given bag. Uh, a sequence of more than two snakes must cross the seam between bags. Uh, it's going a bit far for me. Yeah, but uh, interesting that there is like an in-depth analysis of how uh, Tetris draws out um, the different tile pieces. Very interesting. Oh, so there's some sorry. more. 
And and randomness is uh, a big factor in video gaming. Huge, Huge right? factor. It's part of the design conception of games as well. And yeah. as I said, grindy games, like if you want to, and that's also the problem too with getting the, the, if there's only one outcome for any activity, why would you do it more than once? You know what I mean? Like if like if every time I do something, there's only one thing that will happen. Yeah. Um, versus even a small set of like five options, one one being brutally favorable, one being completely terrible, and then three in between. Yeah. Statistically, like making the insanely good bad one kind of higher on the end, like you bell curve it. All of a sudden, you want to engage in that action multiple times, a to c, like what happens but also b it's like you it's exciting to feel like oh at this point i could have success or failure and it's an interesting it's core i think to game to game design because it's like if you want people to play something a long time yeah ha having them like kind of roll the Fun slot in some way is exactly what you want um so we're gonna be playing next six games from yeah. this let me turn off dark mode here oh my goodness it's too small it's too dark. We must turn on the lights. Yeah. Uh, one the second. Lights. I gotta bring this over here so I can actually make it proper for you guys. There we go. Come on. No. No, not like this. Come. What? Oh, I'm holding down the wrong key. That would help. So, uh, the Gravity oh. 8 bit game jam. Um, took place April 21, 21st to 23rd in uh, Poland. This is the English translation, so I can actually read it. It is a hackathon event in which teams of programmers, graphic designers, and musicians will have the task of writing a game for any 8-bit platform within 36 hours. There are no restrictions regarding the programming language on, and the tools used. The only limitation will be the predetermined topic of the game, which the participants will learn only just before the start of the competition. <laughs> the competition aims to act, activate the game dev 8-bit scene, integrate the environment, and promote retro gaming platforms. Yay! Uh, we're back with the fifth edition of our unique competition. Over 100 people from different parts of Poland and beyond have already participated in all editions. So far, we've written over 40 games, including one for the Casio B, uh, PB100 calculator, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Um, what should I know before participating? The number of places is limited to about 40, so it's not worth delaying the registration. We do not provide sleeping rooms. <laughs> if, you're, <laughs> if you're very comfortable, you can try to find accommodation in the area, or you can always try and bring a mattress to whack the gorilla next to the desk. That didn't translate. Well, I don't understand what... Whack that gorilla. Dude, I'm, uh, I'm going to go whack some gorillas tonight. Maybe that's a euphemism I don't want to know. <laughs> don't don't know. be whacking the gorillas beside me. No. I don't want to. I don't want to be in the room when people are whacking gorillas. <laughs> no, I'm not. If you don't know how to get there, click here. Make sure you read the contest rules. You'll find a lot of additional information. Evening dress is not required, but basic hygiene does. <laughs> yes. I wonder if this will translate as well. Oh, did I click to where? Cats it is? are getting hungry. Did you know what you can do? You know the ways to. You know how to. You know the... satiate those cats. Uh, individually or join team size three participants. Uh, grouping must take before take place before the drawing of the topic. Stop it. Imagine Champ Games just shows up to this. You're like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> He's pretty fast, but three, yeah, three days. Yeah, it's like, oh, I forfeit. <laughs> yeah, you just, you look, it's like, yeah, it's like if you go, you're going to like your boxing competition, Mike Tyson's there, you're <laughs> it's like, like, oh, God. yeah, it's time to go home. This is yeah. a wrap. <laughs> Whacking a gorilla with a mattress is the game theme. Yeah, there you go. Uh, okay, so the uh, first game we're going to take a look at is Bloody Mary Lost Treasure uh, by Secor, uh, Mikhail uh, Shablowski, uh, Yablowski, and Chris 3D. Sweet. And you can download this game from the Gravity website. Um, so let's switch back. And you can uh, reset it. Sick. Okay, let's So see. this is, you want to load up. How do I get out of this Bloody, screen? Oh, by left the way. and button. The left. Hold left. Nope. Hold nope. left. Yeah. Hold left and then press the button. Oh, Try so again. like 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 joystick. Hold, joystick. Left. Hold left. Yeah. And then the other button. There you go. Okay. So bloody well, Mary guy. lost cool. treasure. That's what we want. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Um, I have absolutely no information about this game or how to play it, because 
was he? Press start. Code. Singer. And he's got some music. And what shall we do with a drunken sailor? Chris the... Chris the 3D. Chris the so nice. Uh, nice title screen. Got a the, kind of majestic ship. Yeah, pirate on there. Some some birds ready to pick the I bones. I seems to have a feminine build, but yeah, could, yeah, that's my could that's be my feeling. Uh, a woman pirate. Or that's, it could be it could be kind of like a you know, Jack Sparrow type. Could be. Go for it. Okay. No. Might have first. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Now, Ooh. as far as I know, with this game, you're just finding treasure with with um, and avoiding bombs. I think. There's no indication of where the treasure is or how close <laughs> so it, how close you immediately are. Immediately get a bomb? No, no, you're still good. That's a nothing. And your bonus goes down every time. I, get one. I, I, I think they're all on land, but I can't guarantee that. That's... Nice re music rendition and artwork. Yes. Oh, you got it. Da -da -da. Sick. Is it, is it programmed in the same spot? Or is it random. Oh, it's oh. random each time. Now you got bigger land to dig. Okay. I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do the corner technique. <laughs> and there's there's no helpful indication. I'm gonna turn this into a paint simulator. You know what, dude? There you go, make a happy face or some eyes. You know what? Big X there. Let's do. And I think they did say in the forums or somewhere that or somebody suggested that um, Make an indicator how close you are, like a hot coal. Voted all the bombs Pure. so far. Hey man, it's my it's my skill. Pure skill. <laughs> oh, big piece of land there. You no water have, at all. You happen to have a god gamer over here? <laughs> oh, god. oh, your bonus is huge this time. <laughs> because you've been doing so well. What the hell? Look at that fourth time. Out of all that land. Is it gonna be oh it's all water this time, is it? It's it, let's see. It's thinking. It's thinking. Nobody's ever made it this far. Oh. They didn't play test it this far. Because I'm a god gamer. I think you I won. No idea. I think you won the game. Did I beat the game? You beat the game, it's done. James, you gotta you gotta see. <laughs> you got the skills of uh the skills of a real gamer. Oh the game freezes. Oh no! <laughs> the game freezes at that point if you try and restart it. Yeah. What we so what's um I know all I do. I know all of them, one through whatever the largest. Is. Oh, infinite. <laughs> okay, um, I'll give it a go. Erlen knows all the random numbers. Right. What's it, what? Uh, so what's so interesting is middle like. Out. Yeah. It, oh, that's it. Um, I think there was like a Malcolm in the Middle episode. Um. <laughs> Where, uh, the, you know, like the, the, the father, I can't remember. I lost. I got zero points. Okay. Continue. Know, you just don't have the skills of, I don't. Uh... <laughs> I don't know the random number sequence here. Oh, there was just a, uh, Malcolm in the Middle episode with like, uh, I don't remember the name of the father, yep. but he like, he was doing the lottery and apparently every time he'd done the lottery, he'd do, he had his sequence of numbers. And then one time he was like, oh, I'm not going to do it. Yeah, and then, course. and then his wife calls and is like, we're rich. Cause obviously that's the one, it's the <laughs> oh, one time. Yeah. So it's, it's interesting. And he gets in trouble for not playing his normal numbers. And status quo is come back, you know? Were they always on? No, they weren't always on the edges, because you played the edges first. Oh. oh. No, you're way better at this game than I am. Oh, it's pure skill. Okay. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Obviously. Next game is uh, Bow Hater Eerie Burzy by uh, Rafael Yabous Yabowski. Yabowski. Oh my god, I've forgotten how to pronounce W's. Yabowski. Uh, the title translates to Hero of the Storm Age. So hold left and press the button to get out of here. There you go. Oh, which one? This one? Uh, Bow time. Hater. Yep. Yum. Oh, yum, yum, before yum, that, yum, yum, yum. it's treat time. Yum, yum, yum. Oh. oh, the cats are going nuts. Yes? Hey, guys. Yes? Okay. The cat bus has arrived. It's zero, zero. Are you cats ready? Let me get out the treats. Oh, they're excited. <laughs> On your marks. Oh, can you close the door? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Just shut it. To, uh, yeah. Good enough. You can't get it. Because he likes to take his food out 
and then he loses badly yeah, if he chews yeah, it up. Okay, sense. ready? You guys ready? Prime and oh, and Sprite's off to a good start. Oh, he's insistent. The champ right Atari there. Atari has not rung yet. Come on, Atari. Atari, ring your bell. Ring your bell. Atari, ring your Atari, bell. Find your bell. This is like inertia. He's like trying to get this. <laughs> That's right. <Whoa. laughs> it's like, where is it? Ring it. Don't push it. Ring it. Oh, Sprite oh, gets Sprite. another one. Come on, Atari. Ring your bell. Come on. Ring it. Ring it. Oh, three zero for Sprite. Come on. Sprite. Ring your bell. It's almost not fair at this point. Four zero. Atari, you're hitting the air, buddy. You gotta find Come on. your. Harder. Harder. Five zero for Sprite. Oh no. This is gonna be a Not shutout. like this, Atari. <gasps> yes. Five one we for got one. Five one for Atari. Holy shit. Six one. That was for a Sprite. confident ding as well. That oh, like, he's, he's serve me, master. Seven one for Sprite. Master, you must serve me. Oh, seven Ooh, that two. That was a solid was one. Really dude. solid. Oh. Eight two for Sprite. Just give it to him. He's an old cat. Nine two for Sprite. Stop these kids coming out. Nine three for Sprite. You can catch up. Come on. Come it's on. Game point though. Oh, oh, ten three. And here's some consolation. He's trained since he was a baby. Yeah. Grew up. He knows. He this is this is whole whole life he's been doing this. It's the it's what's the bang quote? I was born in the dark. <laughs> you you merely visited at Sprite. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, so okay, I have no instructions for this, but it's called Hero of the Storm Age. If you want to jump into it, um, oh yeah, one. this one here. Sick. Yep. Let's do it. And then I'm gonna wash my hands. You can figure out what to do. Okay, so far we have a blue screen. It's loading. Oh shit, 1985. Let's see. So far, I think solid game. <laughs> Um, hmm. Please wait. Decrunching. Crunch, I'm crunch, very crunch. Very polite. I'm fucking down to wait. Very, very My polite. AI friend. Bo Hader, Uri Burzi, the game for uh, Gravity of the Year 2023. Cool. Fire? I'll fire. Mm. Whoa, okay. I got my guy. Oh, what was the fire? Was it Tab or something? Oh, shit. This is where reading things is good good to do okay you don't do anything okay I'm, I'm, I, ain't, I ain't touching I ain't doing nothing that means you're doing everything <laughs> <laughs> everything honestly sir I ain't doing nothing uh not firing. It's a keyboard game. Maybe you have to press a direction and fire. Oh, Bam. anybody remember what the fire button was? Ooh, I'm exploring. Oh, I'm did you find something? I'm noticing there's a theme in terms oh, of... Oh, you're exploring. Oh, screen to screen. There appears to be a repetition of a letter. A lot of that there letter. There seems to on. be a lot of K. But we don't know what the fire button is. And I'm noticing that each room has more Ks. Oh, there's Ooh. a thing. Get the, get that thing. Do I interact with it? I am. Gaz. Dude, I, I, I noticed some Polish instructions. You're all gazed up. Oh, man, I'm always gazed up. It said W U S D, but then it had a fire. Missing a lack of three in a row. Hmm. Um, I'm noticing that there are different shades of colors Two. for these K's. Two different shades. So that could be a factor. What are we hissing for, buddy? Angry cats. Oh, the war. War never changes. <laughs> Cat wars. Oh. Okay, I'm going to reboot it. Yeah, maybe we should read some instructions. Yeah. There's what? Okay, press a button. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're going we're gonna to do some reading. Press fire in Polish, which I only did to start the game. Oh, okay. So oh, okay. It's just wandering, maybe. But we'll see. Let's see what it says. Okay. This time. So the, I'm wondering if some decrunching is going to happen again. I'm excited. <laughs> oh, 100 percent decrunching probability. Got to decrunch this. Uh, got some numbers we're decrunching right now. 
Please so wait. Many, so, so many polite. numbers. Yeah. As I said, I'm all about respect for the AI. <laughs> oh, W D U S. But she said Polish is for start. No. Oh, maybe. Okay. But there's still no instructions. I can kind of move my cursor. None. Because W D U and S don't ma don't map out on the keyboard, so that must be start. Okay. I hit. I'm gonna look it up. W D U S. Um. Anyone uh, speak Polish and know what this like instructions are saying in the screen? Well, there see, really weren't any. Well, no, but you see this screen. Oh, There's, I can type it in. I'm very curious, like what that might o -D translate N -A -J -D -D -Z -W -S -Z to. O-D-N-A-J-D-Z-W-S-Z-Y-S-T-K-I-E-O-S-I-E-M-C-Z-E-N-S-E-I-P-I-W-A. -E oh, dude, it's it's saying find all eight. A C B O H A T E R E N Y B U R Z Y. Find all eight pieces of beer <laughs> to become the hero of the Storm Age. Dude, I want to fucking be the hero of the Storm Age. We got beer to collect. Beer, right? beer. Yeah, yeah. Beer. <laughs> oh, W D D U S means press. Oh. Did I collect it? I got I got myself a chamel. Let's see what that is. C H M I E L. Man, I'm you got stoked. hop. I'm stoked. You about got some my, hops. I'm stoked about my hops. Got one beer. I'm noticing a, a brewer theme to this game. Now, if you now if you go up or off the screen and then come back down, are those three? No, oh, that's random. You might as well just go back and forth. <laughs> a beer. Unless, yeah, you can just go back and forth. How to cheese the game? What did we just get? A glutaminin. Let's see. Oh. Glutaminin. Glutamate. Check it out. Oh. What did you get this time? Exploiting the RNG. E K S T R A K T. We got extract. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh no! Oh, 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 I was in the lull of the thing. I'm like, <laughs> I've done that before when trying to uh, cheese the game. Yeah, he, you're oh. roll, you're rolling over items. Pro, pro meal. Okay, Let's see what that is. P R O M I L E. Per mile. Oh, I think that translates. It looks well. like a shower that we're about to enter into, or a dragon. Piana. Ooh, I will. I'm, I'm got gonna... some foam now. Oh, These are all properties I'm of beer. I'm collecting some piano. Fuck yes. <laughs> Get that foam. Give me that piano. Yeah, I'm not you think sure it's what a the... K or it's like a like a like a yeah, what arrow pointing for? towards like a line or something. K by itself doesn't translate to anything, but I, I wonder why they picked K. Piano was not gas. Gas foam. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna kind of just, I'm gonna, just in, I'm just gonna go up because I think, okay. I think me just like going geez. back and forth is a bit much. You know what this game is? And it gives you more time. This to game's see. Twitch Dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> it's killing it on Twitch. Dude, like if there's ever a game to for high stakes, oh, it's getting stuff. It's getting it's more Twitch Dynamite. Oh, it is. <laughs> it's getting more uh, solid go out the, there. I'm gonna go to the side here. Yeah try to find my beer now um these are all done in 36 hours was it so they have to make the graphics come up with the story 100 percent uh, do all the coding um so i've have you ever done a 24 hour 48 hour 72 hour film oh yeah definitely yeah i've, I've done a, i've done a few of them actually how did that turn out i enjoyed them um but i found i my, enjoyed them as well I, I found myself um just because of like who i am kind of having to be a bit of a leader and then filling a lot of gaps right and then finding it quite exhausting but very oh, fun it's so exhausting and 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 like my joke about like champ games is totally like what happens <laughs> you know what i mean like you're oh, like you're working so master hard master cinematographer yeah and they have like writer. a production crew and they're like yeah we just shot with a fucking dolly and like a you know it's just like there'll be somebody yeah. that kind of like already has an infrastructure in place yeah and that definitely dominates yeah. but the beauty is is that like in the end the story and concept is what matters but i find often the prizes go towards the polish because people are just so blown away by yeah, polish in these are. sort of like 
even if it's one thing like some like um special effect that they put in like blood spraying it's like yeah. oh my god look what they did it's like okay or some big sequence that they've kind of already thought through you know like um oh promi is the strength of the alcohol Ooh. oh okay i'm gonna i'm gonna let you guys know right now per mile i want my promi high obviously it has to be in context actually no i actually don't like whoa beers. it's getting full i don't like beer beers that are like too alcohol okay. like I, I tend to go for beer because i want to have like a drink and not get too drunk like hard alcohol uh, and whatnot whoa. it's like way too much i'm like guys i want to sip on my beer <laughs> like somebody is like you know Tall you boy. actually enjoy the beer yeah like some of these tall boys if i have like one beer and i'm already like <laughs> it's nice to have like a like a lower percentage one not like not like no percentage but yeah when you get to like these like eight percent beers it's like uh after dark is gonna be either tonight or tomorrow or sun uh, probably tonight or tomorrow because i think it finishes on sunday um that round um, but I would like to try and do it. Oh, you're getting Ooh, I'm stuck trapped now. now. So there's no choice but to cheese. Most. Well, you can still go around. Right? Because, like. You still need three more uh, items? Like. Did it say six? Six or eight? Oh, I can't remember. Uh, eight, I believe. Like, you have to cheese there. Yeah. Yeah. Eight. Oh, my God. So, what is the topic of the comp? It didn't. I can't find that it. Would be it was all nice internal. Um, I think each team had a different topic and that's, um, what film festivals sometimes do. They, they pick them out of the hat. They pick a, an item you have to include, a phrase you have to put in the film that the actors have to say, um, and a theme. Yeah. Sometimes those are the major three. It's so you don't, you can't plan too much ahead. But you, oh, no, like, not a, a theme, a genre. That's right. That's right. And I did one once where it was a horror. Um, actually, the whole thing was horror films. Mm -hmm. uh, another one, I can't remember what the theme was. That's the thing is, like, you can kind of cheese it in a way. Like, you can actually... The people, in the true terms, oh, you shouldn't you prep. Can. But, like, let's say you have... You have to get like, locations. You have to get locations. Yeah. It's to do get a location within the... Th you're going to people's houses. Also, just like a rough like idea of of, a, of like an outline for like maybe yeah. three or four concepts. So you're not. You like need your actors. You need you need a bunch of things in you, place. You need camera crew. Like, yep. You need your equipment. Um, and that's the thing is, it's like, you know, let's say you have like. Yeah, it could have been beverages. Like, who are some who are some insanely good programmers for like homebrew? Oh my god, so many. Like VHZC. Yeah, if you got like VHZC on your team, it's a one-man team though. That's he does true. everything. Well, dude, but if <laughs> he, he would like, just film himself. But dude, if, but like for like a programming game like this, right? Like to have yeah. like that's that's the interesting thing too is that like also I think that like the the other thing that's all the beer stuff. Is. The other thing that happens is that like you it really does benefit the people who like have a lot of experience because when you're good yeah. at something, you can do it faster. You're not it's thinking just, about it; you're just doing it. It's like yeah. we need this type of shot. It's like, well, yeah, you put on this lens, you, you get this lighting. Um, yeah, and, but, um, and I, it's and it is a shame because polish sometimes I think becomes the defining factor because yeah. people are so blown away. They're like, how did you do this in such a short period of time? It's like, well, they, yeah, they had like a bullet. need a good and fast writer. Mm -hmm. um, the people like doing camera, you you're just listening to the director and and knowing what's needed for the for the scene. They can work on the fly quite yeah. quickly writing takes time editing takes time um actors need to learn their lines but that can be done a lot on the fly too it's like you look at it know my line get yeah. the other angle um go to the other corner then you can move between four screens Fuck yeah. Ah, yeah, dude, let's people do it. are let's do it. optimizing the cheese factor i want i want that i want that cheese give me that cheese check it out up, down, left, right. Up, down, left, right. I'm not seeing any of my beer. No, it's like it hasn't appeared in forever. I don't mean to be critical, but I have to say my <laughs> this is transforming into, <laughs> you know, not Twitch well, dynamite anymore. <laughs> this is like Twitch nuke. Uh, so we'll give it a couple more screens and then be done because it's not giving you anything in like the last five minutes. Yeah, You've got zero. It's giving me a good chance to talk about things, but. <laughs> Okay, one more screen. 
Oh, no, it didn't listen to me. Oh. They didn't use the uh, randomization factor. They properly. didn't. But here's yeah. the thing with RNG. It's like, I want to keep doing it because maybe the next one. <sighs> Got to roll that dice. Maybe my beer will be there. I need that dopamine hit of the success screen. I need it. I know. I need it. <laughs> okay. Um, a good little game for, for three days, but they didn't. It's not finished. And, well, and a lot of these are not finished. Well, this is the interesting right, thing so. with like both of these games, right? It's a good example of skill and randomness, right? These yes. both of these games have been pure random. So as a result, as a player, it kind of it feels one of those things where you're kind of like, well, a game is purely random. It almost feels on some level slightly meaningless because you're like, well, yeah. like I as a player haven't contributed. And you look at something like chess, pure skill. That's a different There's kind no of game. No randomization there, exactly, except for the first move, which doesn't even matter. Yeah, yeah well, and, does, but that but... is, but the, even that's not random. That's up to the the player that you're right. playing, and like, so it's interesting. I like the harmony of the two in a game. So yeah. randomness and skill you need required. Controlled randomness. It's like okay, these things can happen, but they have to be within these parameters. Yeah, and you roll the dice within these parameters. It's like okay, what's the chance of beer happening? But there has to be an upper limit. It's like oh, it's been. 10 turns and no beer component has happened we have to force one now yeah and, and that's what they didn't have in the game or you look at like the i mean the, the like what's the game no it didn't the... become a hero of the storm age no <laughs> i fucking someday oh. someday we will get the beer components well and but like with bloody mary right that's basically playing from the tradition of minesweeper like that is that's pure random like even no hints at all that's exactly. on the opposite end and that's a beautiful game that's like really stood the test of time like that was programmed into like how many computers is a yeah. default game and like that's an example of beautiful balance of skill and randomness yes right Where there, because you, it gives hints but there's also randomness and then okay. people who are masters next one's at gold it. diggers but even masters at it you get to a point where it's like these it's, two it's, could be equally the one and that's where you're making calculated risks mm. not just pure gambling right <laughs> yeah, even then well but but there there hopefully would be some form of of like Again, there's absolutely no information about this game. I'm gonna run straight into this thing and see what happens. Nothing and, happens. Um, Is that a teleporter? Is teleport? Did you press a button? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. See, I'm standing here. Teleport. Okay. You got it. Teleport. I'm gonna now. And those upper numbers are like coordinates. Um, I think from the lower left. Yes. No, upper left. Oh, I think it's telling me like where I am. Yeah. Oh, it kind of is like a chessboard, right? Where it's like... But there's no objective. And I think if you go off the screen, you're... Am I dead? I think. Can oh! I press the button? Oh, so I'm just in the... You're in the nether zone. I'm trying to go up. I can't... Okay, I'm actually... It's got numbers, and you should be on the screen, but you're not. I'm navigating through... You're invisible. Time, space, continue. <laughs> press the button. Oh! Oh my god, there's another guy there now. Hey! Hey, buddy. Did I just eat you? <laughs> you consumed this, this energy. Game. Okay, I'm going to go up again and see what happens. Oh, whoa, some other things. Oh, it wrapped around to 255. Okay, I'm going to like... Interesting. Okay, now... Oh, cannibal. Oh, <laughs> yummy. Devoured your own ghost. You're in the twilight zone. That's what it was. Yeah, I think they didn't quite finish this game. I don't know if there were supposed to be enemies or things in your way. So, like, I'm going to eat my friend. Oh, oh. Bring him with Teleport you. Teleport again. Oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, I think I think we've. Oh, dude, look. Oh, Miker says dude, gold diggers is unfinished. You Whoa, this? you found a secret passage. Oh, how did you get there? I moved to the left and then I emerged <sighs> into the darkness. I can't go back though. Oh it's a no, nightmare you're stuck. Can I you go up the button. Down? Yeah, I can eat my person. <laughs> um. So. There's not enough time to finish this. Yeah. This is like the forest. It's, it looks really, <laughs> like the walking looks really good. And it's got maze generation. Oh, I'm off screen now. It's I'm got a fully screen. explorable maze. Yes, it does. So like, I'm just, I'm jamming out. Okay, next one. Yeah, I feel like. Is uh, Laska Op Apata, which means Abbott's staff. And this one actually is this finished. This one here, Laska. Yeah. Okay. By MQ. And they finished it, uh, they polished it up after the... Um, you wonder why the they weren't throwing any mattresses at gorillas. This was <laughs> happening. These guys were like, these were focused. These, these, these fellows were dialed in. They weren't, there was no monkey business. There's no, <laughs> no mattresses being no thrown. No gorillas. Yep. 
Uh, at this year's uh, Gravity 2023, I competed in the company of my old friend from school days, uh, KK, in the final phase. Kaz helped us a bit more preparing a picture for the title page, as you see, um, according to the design of KK. Uh, we, in, we drew an individual word parachute. Ah, so we know the one on this one. So they got the word parachute and another common word, chick. I may not translate it right. Because like, throughout the event, we had one big stupid joke. So as part of these jokes, whatever popped up during the draw, we thought it would, could be turned into a game about the Pope and everything could be bought, brought under him. Ooh. On the first day, we figured out what the game should look like in detail, but unfortunately we didn't manage to finish it on time because they lost many hours looking for stupid bugs, messy addresses, scattered display lists, etc. Et goddamn gorillas. Oh, the gorillas were everywhere. Despite this, we took fifth place in gravity and the game was just a teaser. I really wanted to check how much we were missing, so I finished the game. Oh, you brought us a toy. Hey, buddy. You brought your white bunny. Um, there was really a few hours of time missing, and it wasn't for a few hours lost searching for so many bugs, I knew we would have managed to bring the game to the end in the form I present here. So I'll tell you how, what to, how to play it. Just avoid everything, and you're falling down. Okay. So this press is a nightmare-ish existence I'm about to enter into. Jokes about the Pope in Poland. Avoid it all. Even the money? I want everything. money. Everything. These are temptations. Oh, yeah, yeah. Children. Yeah. Money. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. God, guys. And, and, and uh, high priced uh, items. And you become, you move your way you up. You know what these are, James? These are the temptations of the flesh. They are. Well, one of them is. You know. Or I guess your flesh. Yes. That's right. The, of the flesh. Of, of, of the material world, right? Yep. Oh. Lust, greed. Oh, oh feels bad. Oh. Ran into a child. Of all the things, of all the temptations. Got too close flesh. to a child and you were too tempted. It's a little fucked up, man. It is. Um, the game is called Abbot's Staff. We fall with a priest on a parachute, so we included both competition words. Uh, the intermediate goal is to promote, be promoted to the rank of abbot, then get the, the staff, then further the career path and reach the Pope. So you're not a hey, Pope yet. There's no ladies who can become a Pope. It's just not even like a... It's not on the radar. There's no... no what an interesting institution. That it is very interesting. <laughs> but I... A little bit a, of, a uh, bit of sexism a, there. Yeah, it's yeah. just interesting. It's like... It's a little like, bit of misogyny built into the religion. Yeah, it's like all the guys get to like wear the cool shit and all the ladies it's like oh, you can just like hang out in this like yeah, do the monastery same. and look after all our shit uh, in like the game cool. we play the role of a novice priest who must avoid temptations we start in the rank of vicar for avoiding temptations we get points and for every 100 points you're halfway there he's, oh he's no you got 100 points you're pursuing got, the higher path you got uh, uh, promoted to uh, oh but I the problem is I then accepted the bribery man I was, the, I was tempted me, by don't press button He's preparing for the life after this one. That's right. Let's see what Interestingly, though, no taxes. So, like... <laughs> That's true. So, fuck yeah. Even though he hit this money, it's like, oh, this is my money. It's, it was too hard to avoid the temptation, it says on the bottom. I tell you... Try that. again. You made it to 125. Oh, That's your record. You didn't become record. Pope yet. Oh, uh, we reached the Pope with 500 points. Um, successfully become the parish priest, abbot, bishop, cardinal, and finally pope. With the change of rank, we change the color of our robes. Man. I wonder what color it is. White? Red? Mm. I thought, like, um, cultivating your spiritual connection to the world didn't involve um, parachuting out of the <laughs> it's sky. All, it's and all a metaphor. Of, of, uh, but I know the three things I've got to dodge earth. now. That's right. In life, <laughs> avoid the money. Uh, you must get Public transit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, Cupid dolls. Thankfully, fake um, money. there's zero temptation of the flesh when it comes to children. And it says, meat, avoid luckily. temptations, young vicar, according to Google, anyway. Oh, I'm yeah, I'm using Google Trans. Oh, did I just get, did I just get upgraded? You did. Oh, oh, but I bought a car with my money. Fuck. So, my turn. You got 125. This guy's not into the prosperity gospel, clearly. <laughs> nope. 
He's, he's not begging for money, so he did, can be did you hear? Did you hear about the God? prosperity gospel? That's no. the like. That's a form of. Do you know what the belief system is? It's the belief that um, uh, if you donate to this church, um, that that donation God will give back to you. Oh, I've heard um, that. So I've heard the term. So if you donate like something like forty thousand dollars to the church, um, oh, it's it's a clear, it's it's guaranteed. It's it's one and one. Oh well, it's, that sounds like a great investment actually. And what you'll notice than the banks. What you'll notice is these churches have a lot of money. Oh, they do. Are they <laughs> Which supposed is, to pass it on to God? Where are they getting this money from? <laughs> or give it to the poor? There's a, there's a very famous um, example of a guy who has like a private jet, the meme about him, and there's like oh, someone confronting yes. him, and he starts saying, but the demons, that's why I can't be on these. Oh, these the hits and, demons on regular flights, the people are demons. Yeah, and it's like, a, and this reporter talks to him, and he looks like a lunatic. Um, I think, I don't want to just point to the like worst example ever. Oh, that's, um, he's one of the worst. One of the worst examples. Um, I can't remember his name. But yeah, that's an, ex- that's an example of it as well. The prosperity gospel. Demons fly coats, that's right. Demons, it, that's pretty much what he says. You should, if, if anyone... Tube of demons. I saw that clip yeah. recently. Oh, what's his face? Yeah, he totally. It up, but it made the rounds again or something. Yeah. It's an old clip. It's an old clip. It comes up a lot because it's just like the wildest thing. And he and he also during like the pandemic and all that, he was doing insane crazy stuff on stage. Oh, sure. Anything but to get the money. I think that the issue in life, though, man, is it's just like it, we're all just human beings, and when you kind of like elevate yourself to this divine ascended level, it just kind of fucks with your head, you know? Oh, like, yeah. Like you, you talk, to, you look at like real, like proper spiritual teachers who kind of like do that work. Like the real hazard is believing we'll that you are. People. Yeah, like you actually have to like divorce yourself from that process and be like, no, like to help people, you can't believe that you're just like, you know. And it even is in the like the, the proper religions of like don't believe you are God, but that's the risk of oh. being a pope and a priest and all this stuff. Is, yeah, is you, you're developing the God complex. Of... And that's uh, that's one of the signs of the cult is um, you are the God, yeah. or you speak directly to God. Which you can see or why. You can translate what he says. You can see why Catholicism, part of the core doctrine, is don't worship false idols. Like avoid false idols. Like avoid people who are just like, our idols. <laughs> it's just not. We, just but we're fucking our... fine, man. <laughs> we're, yeah. we're not. Trust we're, me, we're not doing any the, of this stuff these other people are doing. We're the good one. Out of the thousands of religions, we're the right. Oh, one. dude, you might ascend today to the Pope's well, status. Oh, Bishop, we're on our way. Fuck yes. You just gotta dodge the cardinal sins, man. The temptations of the flesh. It's really tempting. Bombarding you. That's quite the card. Really it's just so sad that like yeah. it's even just like a, it's even just like colloquially a joke that just like you know being a predator is just, is yeah. so synonymous it's such a sad reality it's proven time and time again it's so sad it turns out like you know foregoing your your sexuality and like me you know not does not help <laughs> does it actually makes you just develops a fucked up relationship with your, your sexuality it That's doesn't right. actually help you you're you're denied um uh sexual contact and then you're surrounded by uh children yeah it's just it's odd too because you'll see or you the, can take advantage of you yeah you'll see like um the the the, the priests and like kind of more progressive things where you're like you're allowed to have a family and like Oh, be a person much better the rates of like <laughs> pederasty are significantly reduced yes it is oh because you're put in a position of trust um well, it's you're, also, you're infallible that's a basic human need to just like connect with other human beings not necessarily like in that know, way but but just to actually have like a partner in life like someone to like yeah you know, like that's actually like kind of part of being human and when you when you so. forego that it, it Dude, these are the temptations of the flesh. If you want to ascend, so. I think it's all like, oh, you're married to God. It's like you're not. You're above all that. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, oh, dude, it. you just turned into Gandalf the White, dude. Oh yeah, I've returned. I've returned in the time of need. Not before, when you needed it as well. Yeah. It's your last, last vestiges of hope. I, I, I've come in to save Pope the day. Pope James, you are the Pope. Woohoo! Dude, you'd be a good Pope. 
<laughs> I would disband the church. Dude, you would show my up. First your first thing, you'd be like, this is all bullshit. They'd be like, no, 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 this is the craziest pope of all time. S sell off all the <laughs> you'd just start, all the land, all the churches. Start shipping out the like the, the art that's just in the basement of the Vatican. People oh, are like, yeah. we can't be doing this. It's all up for auction. And then, uh, and then, and then like a, a give away two, them two days the later, it's like, unfortunately, Pope James has passed away in the night. <laughs> <laughs> he accidentally fell out a window. Oh, it's a, tra it's a tragedy. He got poisoned uh, by some tea at the same time. It's been re replaced by <laughs> the status quo Pope. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody more holy. He'll continue the... <laughs> so, what should I end on? I'll end on 700. Yeah, now you can't fail anymore. Uh, but, I, I, you know, like, there we go. Close a, good, a good combination of, of randomness and um, skill, although I don't feel like it's as scalable. It didn't seem like the no, rate increased in hard, challenge. It's hard at the beginning as it is at the end. Yeah. So if you make it a certain a amount, ramp. you're fine. There you go. Uh, I think we're up to number five oh, out of okay. six now. Yeah. The next one is uh, Sai Na Lasky, which uh, translates to Dogs on Canes. Ooh, that's a very interesting title. Let's see what it, uh, they came up with that. Which one is it again? Uh, Sai Na Lasky. Uh, made by Maro, Alex <gasps> Dude, D, the Salter X, this is and amazing. Koala. So he's got uh, a police car, some houses on a hill. Um, some children dangerously close to the road. The witty, uh, burned cow. Sure a tree a just sort of like beautifully. No press anything. Oh, oh, translated one of the words. I got a little jam going on here, too. But I think I got the wrong. The wrong. It translated G R W I D Y to mockery. But it's not doing really another one. Maybe it's G A N. Banking mockery. There you go. Okay. Um, so this game is uh, not even functional. It doesn't do anything. Really? Oh, I'm ready. There you go. That's all it does. Oh shit! Dude, they spent their whole time in paint, and that's right. <laughs> MS Paint. Uh, you know what that? You know what that that happened? Some, they, they threw some matches at some gorillas instead of. That's right. <laughs> the game. Too many gorilla mattresses. There's some gorillas distracting them. Uh, and that translates roughly to... The sound is not I feel like this is overwhelming. Oh, it's very loud. Sorry. Check, check, check. Sorry, guys. This looks like we're throwing mattresses at gorillas. So it says, uh, you lost, end of game. That's what it roughly translates to. Yeah, it's, a, it's such a neat note. Amazing how people keep squeezing performance out of these wonderful machines. It's, it's such, good music, it's yeah. It's so, so incredible, eh? I think I should, um, crank up the... No, it's 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 muting it, muting it quite well. It's just okay. I had it too high. Each each game has its own volume. So this is the best game I've ever played. It was really good, without a doubt. Um, the next or last one. Rocket Nika. Rocket Nika or Nika. By Sun. Sun Lewis and Zoltar I'm, X. I'm gonna hit it and let's see what happens. Oh, Rocket that dude, Nika. that's sick. Look at this. That's gonna hurt. Uh, and they got a shadow going on as well. Oh. Um, this neon vibe. No information about this game. I'm gonna hit it. I don't it. think I ever actually even tested this one. Oh yeah, I did. Okay, this is uh, interesting. So they actually have a functional game here. So you have points, which increase as you pass every successive wave of um, asteroids, and you're flying at a 45 degree angle, and they're getting bigger as they come, which is kind of. Am cool. I just dying? Yeah. Yeah. So it's cool game over. It's too loud again. Oh, so the yeah, great is where I gotta dodge. Um, so you have to dodge as much as possible. You do have shields that go down, but they also build up. Oh, this is like in Halo. So you have to avoid them as much as possible. Ooh, ooh. It seems to also be like only a few positions. Do you know what I mean? Like I only have actually three positions. Oh, we did inertia off the top. So you missed that one, I guess, Dio skill. I don't know, like... Very sensitive, eh? No, because there's only three positions. It's actually a pattern game. Oh, you see what I mean? I like, see. You have to kind of like, and you can predict it. Um, 
It's what is score did you get? Unfortunately, oh. it get it gets rid of it. So you have to see your score before you because die. Because there's only three spots you can go to, right? It's not right. It's not. You can't get in between them. Yeah. So it's actually there's technically a pattern that you just could develop, and then some in some cases it's like I'm just gonna get blasted by. There are three in a row sometimes where you just can't get out of it. Or is there? Yeah, oh. there's times where you just like. There's no. Oh, I don't think. Oh, yeah, there's three in a row. Just hey, saw. Buddy, so you're trying to up? minimize damage. I want to maximize damage. Maximize damage. Maximum damage. Oh, okay, God. Like, see, like, then it gets insane. It ramps even... to like in infinity. I'm not sure what score I got. Because it doesn't display it on the game over screen. Stay, stay more time in empty spaces than asteroids. There is, avoid asteroids for high score. It's it's the meme of the pong, um, uh, pong instructions. They they had to make the most simplest instructions for pong ever. And is what is it? Um, return ball for high score. What was the pong instructions? Did somebody type it out. I forget. So the theme was Laska, which translates to cane, rod, staff, but in Polish can also mean an attractive girl. Oh, so probably the title screen. Wish I could find, um, like, what each person drew. I also have a, I like, find that. a feeling with this one that, like, it ramps up to infinity, like... Oh, Erlen 108. It does, it just goes... To a point where it almost is like, maybe we should, like, wait to ramp up to this level. Because when... It's yeah, like, it goes... It seems to double speed every time. And then it's like, like for example, like, look at this ramp, dude. Like, it's just... Oh. Thrust was watching. Oh, oh, I, got, thrust. oh I got 98. Thank Thanks, dude. 108. Okay, I gotta get better. Gotta get good. I think I did really well at one point. And you don't get any more points for shield levels or anything. You just get points for... Because that would be a good factor. If they included how many shields you got had well, at any point. if your points went up faster when you're full shield. Yes. That would be the way to do that. Yeah. Yeah, that's your ramps up to, like, insane lunatic levels. I think past 100 is where it just gets effed. Like, what, like... Look at this, though. Like, your smart move, just going left, right, left, right. Oh, my so, God, what was my dude, score? You're, like, 200 and something. Nice. Definitely 215, I saw. I, I saw don't think I could replicate that. Do one more each. Okay. Now I understand the letter K forest. Uh, I saw your technique, though, James. Just When it went go. to infinity, you are just, just like, moving. Just you just moving. literally just, like, constant movement. And, you're and I think I'm, it's 100% lucky, though. Ooh, 225. Yeah, yeah, was, you did really nice. well. Nice. Score is four digits. They're very, they're very, um, it's very ambitious. <laughs> yeah, it needs a slower non-doubling ramp up as well. Oh yeah, around a hundred. Oh, see, it's so random. See, that's where like just you just end up sliding like left <laughs> to right. Oh. Yeah, you just go left and right and hope for the best. Like, I shouldn't have gotten that. Just try to survive the onslaught. The hands of RNG. <laughs> RNG Jesus is what they call it. RNG Jesus. <laughs> That's what they pray call it. Praying to RNG Jesus. Gotta pray to RNG Jesus. For a good uh, Please handout. Give it to me. So one thing that's interesting is that I'm super into like D and D, yeah. and the D20 system is like a huge factor right? oh. where you're rolling the D20s. Well, I started playing uh, 3.5 is what I grew up on, which is the system, and I've been learning more about 5e, which is a sort of like you know like just the fifth edition uh, right. D and D, right? But one interesting thing they included in 5e is this concept of advantage and disadvantage, and what this okay. means is that when you have advantage, you roll twice and pick the higher number. And oh. if you have disadvantage, you roll twice and pick the lower number. Number. Yes. But what's interesting is statistically, okay. right, rolling the d20 once and to potentially hit a number yeah. um, is sig And then you add a second roll. The like the the it becomes just like the statistical odds are so insanely different, right? So yeah. it's, it's a way of like balancing the game. But what's interesting is it also produces this statistically like much more safe game. Because you're, oh, you're yes, you know, yes. like, for example, there's a thing where, like, if you roll a one, it's supposed to be a catastrophic failure. 
Um, oh, that's the yeah. whole point of D&D. You, you trip on yourself and you land on your blade. It's the fun of the game, right? <laughs> and when you're rolling that D20, there's this feeling of, like, I could roll a 20, which is, like, insane success, or one is terrible. Oh, like, but with this thing of, like, um, uh, advantage or disadvantage, you can, like, play a halfling, and you have this uh, ability called Lucky, where if you roll one, you always get to re-roll. So then, oh. if you think about, like, the statistical odds of rolling one once on a D20 versus rolling two D20s and rolling one twice it's exponentially larger mm. and that's the interesting thing about like the way they employed kind of the statistics and it's a way of supporting the players to have more of an advantage to die in the game you go in death saves and you have a 50 percent chance to fail one to nine or oh. 10 to um 100 10, 10 to 20 yeah. you succeed and you need to roll three death saves in a row to survive and if you roll oh. below you lose but it's kind of like in like classic D D you're just dead so it's interesting how yeah. like uh they've added layers of rng to like promote a much more robust game but it's interesting how when you take something like rng and then you duplicate it you enter into like this like you know exponential equation where it's like yeah. it's totally different so, world so they, they've added in guardrails correct to the rng so it's like oh dead it's like oh fun game and right. they leave and oh, the game's over uh, old school <laughs> stuff yes but what's interesting is as a result the feeling of rolling a dice it's interesting because as a player you get to roll the dice more because you're constantly rolling which yeah. is kind of the fun activity yeah. but also as a result when you go to roll there isn't the same high stakes so you don't have the same feeling of like yes you know, like or, anything could happen yeah. Which is the chaotic magic of D&D. But as a result, it's been interesting because I've been playing two different games, 5e, 3.5, and the story in 3.5 narratively leads in these cool directions because mm. you have these constant swings. Yeah. Versus in 5e, it tends to be more streamlined, which is good for players, but by adding these layers of RNG to the to the player, the more likely they will succeed, which is the whole game. It's like yeah. the rule of fun. Which also don't feel as vulnerable. And, it, and that's an, it's so interesting with our RPGs and randomness, right? And then also the question of, like, these, these D20s, you know? Like, there's if all the players I play with build these relationships with these dice that are, like, you know, completely <laughs> meaningless. Yeah. But they'll be like, oh, this dice sucks. I got to get a different dice. And all, all the players I know have, like, 20 different dice. And they'll be like, okay, this one's working well for me. But it's interesting <laughs> how, God. like, when you have the feeling of randomness, the, it introduces for the player this feeling of, like, you're interacting with destiny and fate these yep, dice yep. are hot these dice are not all these gamblers fallacy things but it's oh, so God, yeah but it's, that adds to the fun it's so core to game design though and how randomness is like generated and also understanding like as a player what are the odds of success or failure yeah given like a, a specific result and it's so neat to kind of like dive into this stuff with gaming and to think of like the relationship between skill and luck and all these things anyways that's the theme of the uh, theme of the show yeah today. randomness yeah i mean it's endlessly fascinating and ga game developers have to deal with randomness in almost every game there's some games that don't have randomness where it's like you have to do this then this then this or it's like set out like the screens are always the game is the same every time you play it like um VHZC games where it's like this maze and you have to hit this thing then get this thing like those are it's the same every time yeah and there's something to be said for both styles of games ones that are static and ones that are random that's right. random um can introduce some replayability yeah pitfalls exactly right. the same every time um and then like and then and your knowledge then um becomes a huge factor um, yes and but what's interesting about that then is that you know playing tabletop stuff and you run it what's interesting is the as much as like it'll feel random there'll be these odd things that'll happen where you'll be like how come this you know and, it, and you start to interact with this feeling of destiny even though it's all random yeah like and there's some interference from the uh, dm as well well sure but what, i'll tell you the an GM. interesting story I, I was we were like my friends we were playing D and and there was this, this like, storyline they needed, like, help on. Yeah. So they'd, like, basically brought in someone who didn't know how to play D&D &D and metacraft the shit out of his character, so built this insanely strong character. Yeah. And 
what was interesting was he came into the game and they were like, okay, he's going to like save us all. And for the first three sessions, he could not succeed in anything. <laughs> Literally every time he wow. rolled, it would fail. And it was almost like the feeling of like, they were trying to cheese this game and the, <laughs> and the dice corrected it. At other times, right. what's interesting is that then when he started to succeed, culminated precisely with his knowledge of the game, which was this odd thing. And obviously that's entirely random. Mm -hmm. But that feeling of like these well, things happening is very cool. Having knowledge of the game and how to use your character to its greatest strengths does help a lot. But I'm, it's like, we, oh, I have this spell, or I have this weapon. But dude, it was pure rolls. It was yeah. he he rolled nothing but ones and twos <laughs> for like God. three sessions. He wasn't even like playing the game. And when he started rolling, we'd forgotten that he was even a player because he was like we didn't even factor him into anything. And that's just... the that's the kind of magic of that. But what's also interesting as a game runner is that like key decisions putting those in the hands of the dice mean the players won't be as mad at you like this feeling uh, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. if you're like running a game and you're deciding these like core things that it's easy for people to go fuck you but if you go to someone and say you know what if you roll one this happens 20 this happens yeah. go for it there's a beauty that like there's this feeling then that like something else is decided for us and it's i feel like rng in games is the closest we have to like the illusion of destiny and god yeah. inside and it doesn't matter that it's not that the feeling of that is what players love oh yeah 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 and and i love playing randomized games yeah. as well because each game is unique it has a replayability factor um <clears throat> i always want to try very different mini games in my 10 liners yeah that's it's I think developers try for that as well. It's like, yeah. oh, I'm going to make a new game that's something I've never done yes. before. Um, because people like challenges. People like uniqueness, not just making the same things over and over again. Today we have real randomness in computers. Yeah. Um, is it? Did but this is the, get randomness from like temperature fluctuations. Well, that's an or interesting something? thing. Is like, and it's what, pretty good. Or... How is it real? And that and that's is such an interesting like question like, when you go deeper in. It's like, like and let it run for a year and go. Yeah, how easy? How even is this? And how close to real random is this within, you know, a certain number of deviations? That's right. And it's like, oh yeah, it's random it's yeah. real random and it, and it is interesting because like um uh uh gambler's fallacy right the idea that like if you've rolled let's say you have you're flipping a coin right yeah and and you have gotten heads like 50 times and you're like i can't have it again it's in it's it's still 50 50 yeah it's entirely every, possible because they're not tied to the last one they're independent. And planning something like a and d session is fascinating because one day it's entirely possible that your party could roll nothing but ones yeah. and the enemy is nothing but 20s yeah. or reversed. Yeah. Or it could be somewhere in between. Like this beauty of it is that like with randomness, it's entirely possible. And there's all it, those... Individually taken, you a, a chance right. of a one is exactly the same each time. The chance of 20 ones in a row, that's different. Exactly. But uh, possible but, still. Oh, 100% possible. Which is possible. fascinating. And I think, I'm sure you told me, I think you actually brought me on to this. This is fascinating video of analyzing speedrunners of Minecraft and the statistics yes. of triggered events and discovering that like a lot of these people were having these statistical anomalies. Like one in a trillion. It's like, no. Like, it's actually impossible that you've run this thing four times and these events have all happened. Um, yes. And that's a fascinating thing, too. Of I mean, like, it's possible, but highly improbable, like almost never. It's like heat death of the universe. Yes. The number of atoms in, in the universe. Like, pff, yeah. it's not possible. Uh, I just want to go back to Mother 3. Yeah, for sure. Uh, letter K forest literally translates to last K, which is pronounced Laska. Wow. Uh, so that is why there's a bunch of K's for the forest. It's ah. a forest made of um, K's. A forest of letter K's. That is so cool. Plan words. Uh, that's hard to arrive at as a <laughs> uh, English speaker. Dude, so I just thank saw a bunch you for of K's. I appreciate it. Uh, and Vitoko is starting a prototype for the game Chase from the game we played on Tuesday's stream because Vitoko takes uh, part in 10 liners each year. Uh, so he's making a basic 10-liner. And the game of Chase is a Pac-Man type uh, maze. You're eating dots. These things are relentlessly chasing after you. But they're quite slow. And you go faster than them. 
Um, but the maze is laid out in a way that there's kind of some dead ends and they add more enemies into it. So it starts getting a bit more complicated. That would be amazing 10 liner. I'd be very interested in how you're going to be doing the mazes and whether they're going to be like random mazes. And um, so yeah, 10 lines, but Fotoko is a master at 10 liners. So I'm looking forward to seeing mm. that and how he's squeezing it into 10 lines. Uh, the basic, yeah, yeah, doing a random maze and then just filling with dots and putting the character in a random spot and the enemy in a random spot. I think the hardest part is the random mazes. Mm. But even then. Let's check this out, this link. This is... New method of producing numbers could improve cybersecurity. Well, that's, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, so let's just quickly look over this. 2016 page new method for producing truly random numbers can be used to encrypt data make electronic voting more secure and more accurately simulate complex systems such as the earth's climate uh let's see how they do it yep oh a pretty basic no details given so basically <laughs> but it's just something someone's you have to read done. the paper uh want to hear about how to show me your method That's... takes two weekly random sequences of numbers and turns them into one sequence of truly random numbers but that's interesting is it's oh it's is that oh. truly random i mean i'm certainly it's like at a certain point it doesn't matter but it is interesting to think no matter what the source in which you generate it has some influence weekly random sequences such as air temperatures and stock market prices sampled over time harbor predictable patterns truly random sequences have nothing predictable like uh, about them like a coin toss uh, uh coin toss so um two weak random sequences and then they've merged them somehow they just didn't go one 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 or multiply them together or something else is that a, is that a typo too too weakly as in like or uh it... weak. weak like they're oh, not strong oh, random they're I like see. they're like these are not random but they're they're kind of random yeah. so they're like weak random versus a strong one random so that makes sense I thought they were like Days of the executing week. like a week worth of things and then just Could my, my own dumb brain. <laughs> so that, that sounds Let's cool. Let's just say so some people throw some mattresses at me. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. So cool, cool. So there is a way to get really, really, really random. Uh, truly random. They, they say it's truly random. Uh, and I'm sure there's a way to test that. Yeah. Because they need to know how random random is. Um, so let's look at what is coming up on the show uh, after dark tonight or tomorrow, most likely, uh, with Tanya. Um, and then uh, probably if I get my 7800 fixed, it might be a 7800 day. Uh, most likely a 2600 day because there's some more 2600 games. Um, there's an exclusive world premiere of an Atari 8-bit game coming up on the 26th oh sick can't reveal it just yet but i need some more confirmation about that um on most likely the 6th there is a huge exclusive world premiere for a 7800 game plus i filled in the name of who it is now live interview with old style oh i don't know so that's the programmer he has made um Mario Brothers. Oh shit! And has he made an? Has he revealed another one of his games? Let's see. Uh, no, just Mario Brothers. He's revealed. He's working on a bunch of other mind-blowing games. But uh, the new one will be revealed on that day. It will probably reveal beforehand. Makes sense. Because I think. People will be really excited about, like, really excited about Bring this one. Pumped. I am. My, yes, my 7800 is broken. Um, it's right here. Um, the S video out is broken. I should have tested the composite out as well. I don't know why I didn't. Um, and I am pretty sure I... Oh, no, I still have RF intact. So there's another way to test whether it's my S video mod. Or if it's all video output is broken. Ooh, so this, like, this, uh, you know. That'll help. This, you know, maybe this, was it June 9th? Am I misreading? Uh, June, uh. The 7800 one that could potentially, you're going to. June like, 6th. 
June 6th. Yeah, that's the big uh, big game reveal for that one. That's an uh, exclusive world premiere. And then uh, after that, and another exclusive world premiere. This one does have details, and I have named the game uh, Kara Muho. Um, um, and it is all about a snail. Oh. Pla a snail platform game. Platformer. Hey, the snail. snail moves really slow. So some of the challenge of that game is to get out of the way in time of other things that are fast on the screen. So you have to do a lot of timing on this game. So there's like in, hedgehogs and bees. In um, uh, a lot of games, movement speed is actually like the god tier, one of the most important factors. Yeah. Because it's like if you can move quickly, yes. you have an insane advantage in skill-based maneuvering games, yeah. right? A lot of shooters have that power up. Um, that makes you move faster, but they allow you to go so fast you get out of control. So you have to kind of manage your speed to the level you're able to play at, which is kind of cool. You have to, so you have to get a key on each level uh, that gets you to able to go to the next level. Beautiful. So it's really amazing graphics for 2600, an amazing animation. Got the beautiful moon above too. Oh yeah, the big moon and the clouds. The bees are awesomely animated. The snails awesomely animated. Um, great title there. He's already got a cartridge art. It's by uh, Kiki PDPH. Hopefully Kiki. that's the way I pronounce their name. Uh, and it means snail in Portuguese. Uh, I thought it was Spanish, but it's Portuguese actually. Caramujo. Um, Portuguese and Spanish have similar pronunciations, but not exactly. I, this. I don't same. feel like writing much now. I'll add more content later. I feel you, buddy. <laughs> yeah. I, have I have that those days too, where you're yeah. like composing stuff. You're like, oh, yeah. Yeah. this is for future me to figure out. That's right. And uh, round three, Invader and Load Runner for the Atari High Homebrew High Score uh, contest. Oh, Caracol, Caracol. Yeah. Spanish is very straightforward in pronunciations. You pronounce pronounce just about every letter yeah caracol but some letters are pronounced differently than in english um like the l uh two l's is as an h or j oh, i can't remember um, not not big brand enough to know that no, myself no um yeah so that's what's coming up three exclusive world premieres and probably some more as well as i arrange them and get the dates in there um but those are all coming at the end of may beginning of june so i will keep telling everybody about that as they come up so let's go through and say goodbye to everyone thanks so much uh for watching so we played inertia which is very challenging, but if you love the three-quarter view, if you like Marble Madness, games like that, highly recommended. Really good 8 It's got a high, I say it has a high floor, but if you hit it, yeah. you're, 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 I was getting really there, fun. but it's all about the control. But very high floor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, thank you, Rendered Ghost and Dan. Um, and then we played six 8-bit games. Some of them had more functionality than the other, but they all had a good base they were working from. And interestingly, all kind of like were connected to our theme of the of the day of randomness. Yeah, a lot of them very, are random. Very interesting to sort of see like um, how those were reflected throughout these kind of like. Because if you're short on time, randomness is your friend when making a game. It's but like, also okay, your enemy. Yes, in the beer thing, it's like where's the beer? It just never came up again. Yeah, it's like yeah, all the forest was maybe covering it up. And they're like it's purely like just sort of like just shooting in the dark with your 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 pirate treasure. <laughs> Although I yes, do have to say, true. I do have to say that it was all it's god gaming skill. Oh, from you this just guy crushed right here. it! Like I don't even need to play it again. That's how much no, of a god won. gamer I am. I don't need. <laughs> you won the whole thing. I you just... got the three treasures, and you're back. And if we repeated, spending the money. Also, James, if we repeated that a hundred times, I guarantee you, you get the next time. ninety-nine times would happen. I don't even need to prove it, though. No, 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 no. It's, it's pure point. skill from no this point. boy. <laughs> Most of my games use Pokey Random Generator. Oh, oh cool. very nice. Uh, yeah, the Pokey has a number of things built into it um, that, and there's different levels of Pokey. There's ones for 7800 that have sound, um, and there's ones that you need it for the 8 bit system that have, I think, control of the keyboard as well as the number generator. And the Hokey, the replacement, doesn't have those, so they can't be put in for like the arcade 
pokey chips and the 8-bit pokey chips. Um, but there's going to be hokey, different levels of hokey in the future for yeah. replacements. Um, so thank you for watching Vitoko, Chasta Delny Mao, Danny VC, Rendered Ghost, Thrust. Always nice to do an early Friday show so yeah. Thrust can uh, join us. Um, so, Thrust so, is like always here for you because you're always an early dude, show. Yeah, it just it's it's like uh, what is it the? It's a mainstay. Sample based fallacy. That's there, right. right. You're like Thrust is always, Thrust is always here because from my point of view. That's right. From 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 my position, uh, always an old school homie. Just so cool oh, to yeah. see some of the people. Mother uh, Channel Gorf, um, Dios Kilos probably said that. Ivory Tower Collections. Dan AVC. A mother, I'm sure we mentioned. Yep. Nostalgic 26. Al Nefer. Yeah. Um, Metal Lunar 7. And we've reached the top. Thanks for chatting and watching and participating. And uh, we'll be back again uh, on Tuesday. Um, yeah, back to our regular schedule. Tuesdays and Fridays. Um, and we'll be playing After Dark either tonight or tomorrow. <gasps> Thrust is going to be missing the show. That's okay, Thrust. Thrust! You've no! Got, you've got YouTube. It's all That's good. Right. Watch it later. Hi right, to all the YouTube watchers, if you're still watching. And, uh, yeah, so have a great weekend. And uh, we're out of here. And we'll see you uh, for After Dark or on Tuesday. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye, bye, bye. bye, bye. bye.